it took me a while. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, let me just get the rest of my setup here going. For some reason, my uh, GPU wasn't up to date, so I needed to figure out how to uh, get all that sit stuff situated. Let me just open up everything I need to on my end because I had to restart my computer to get all this set up. It's going to take me a while because I also need to uh, reopen the game. Hopefully this is still working. Is it? can't really tell. Well, at least I'm live. That, I can tell that much. Hold on. Log in. Get into the game. Play. And then once I get all this loaded up, then I will switch over to the main game. The main game uh, screen. There we go. Thinking properly. Not working. Okay, start. And logging in. Okay, hopefully that worked. Let's see. There we go. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I, again, I meant to start half an hour ago, but as soon as I started, a uh, pop-up came up saying, Hey, um, apparently your stuff isn't up to date. You g can't do this until you do. So it took me a while to get figure out what I needed to do to get that set up, but now it should be okay. I'm just gonna double check the stream here just to be sure. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. All right. <sighs> now I just gotta wait to log in, which we are now. Yay! Hello, everyone, and well, I'm Dexter Gravel, and <laughs> welcome back to my continued first time playthrough, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I am back at Castrum. Meridianum, I believe it was called. Yeah. Um, I couldn't stream last week because they decided to push up the patch uh, patch times again. So I'm realizing going forward that uh, Mondays is not really a good idea to stream from. So I think going forward... Oh, yeah, going forward, I am going to be streaming Sunday evenings going forward. Unless something terrible happens. But that is what I'm planning to do going forward is Sundays. But for now... I can finally get into what I was going to do today. So last time we began the attack against the Empire with uh, Operation Archon by defeating their General Rattadin, I believe was his name. And now we made it to Custom Meridiana to begin the next phase of the attack. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Also, they made changes to... they added stuff. I'm going to have to take a look at that later because I just want to get into this finally. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Duty, right? Yeah, Duty Finder. What I need to do is... Is it down here somewhere? Castrum... Wait a minute. There's a symbol next to that. What does that mean? Oh, yeah. Item level? Oh, that's right. Leveling your character is crucial to unlocking Eorzea's end content. However, it is not the only value you need to keep your eye on. Almost as important as the level of your jo uh, class job is the level of your gear. The reason behind this is simple. All gear is not created equal, with items featuring a high item level, most often stronger than those with a low IL. Okay, yeah. That, some of the equipment I have is actually level 90, I think. While some high-level weapons and gear can be crafted or purchased in stores, the majority can be obtained in exchange for Alagan Tomestones. Special drops that can be found in instance dungeons, raids, and on the hunt. Oh, oh yeah, the hunt. That was something I was looking to do eventually as well. Once you've collected enough Tomestones, journey to Revenant's Toll to outfit yourself with the best equipment the realm has to offer. Revenant's Toll. Have I been there? Was that in Revenant's Toll? Was that in Mordona? I can't remember exactly, but let me just make sure that I can... Cue into this. Into, yeah, Castor Meridian. Let's see if this works. Duty registration complete. Waiting. It's an average of five minutes. Oh, hello, player. You waiting for something, too? Maybe? Couldn't even, you're going so fast, I couldn't even read your name. <laughs> oh, wait. Item level has been added. Oh. Oh, item level has been added under the category battle? Really? Hold on. Is that really what it was? Duty finder. Is that what this little symbol he is, here is to, next to where it says level 50? Hmm. Interesting. Wait a minute. Doesn't say on this, does it? No, I mean here. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so that symbol represents an item level sync of 60. I guess that means my item level... My... Bind item level is higher 
than what I can for this level because it's uh, some of my equipment is level 90. Level, some are level 70 or some in level 90, so maybe that's what it is. It sinks my item level down. Okay, that's interesting. Item av uh, Average item level of level 42. Huh. Also, something I'm realizing is that I'm not actually reading the descriptions of these places I'm going into. So, let's see what this says. So begins the third phase of Operation Archon, which details a frontal assault upon Castor Meridianum, Gaius von Belsar's seat of power. Forming the main thrust, the immortal flames will strike at the stronghold with all their strength. But this is but a feint. While the garrison's eyes are drawn outwards, you and your comrades must steal past its defenses and attempt to deactivate the Magitech field which protects the Praetorium, the fortress with a, uh, within a fortress wherein the Ultima weapon is believed to be housed. Ooh. So, yeah, looks like we're making our way through in order to open up the Praetorium. Oh, the Praetorium. That was the name of the Final Fantasy XIV stage in Dissidia NT. That was the... It wasn't just called the Praetorium, though, was it? No. It was called something else. It had a, di it had a different part to its name. It Praet something Praetorium or Praetorium something. I can't remember what that was. Well, hopefully we get into this soon so I can figure so we can actually see what this is about. Hopefully. You know what? I'm gonna talk to these guys while I'm at it. Hey Alphano, what's up? It's been two weeks since I last saw you. Go now, Dexter, and bring us one step closer to the dawn. Well, I hope so. And you, General? We will suffer the black wolf to prowl our lands no more. Let us teach the hunter what it is to be hunted. Yes. I like that. And lastly, Midphilia. See that you come back to us, my friend. May the crystal bless you and keep you. Well, let's hope so. It's been two and a half minutes, or nope, three minutes already. Hopefully it won't take too long, and I don't see anyone else queuing into this yet. Hmm. I wasn't expecting the this thing to be taking so long to load in. Unless I'm doing something... I hope I'm not doing something wrong. I shouldn't be. Hmm. Now I'm not entirely sure what to do in the meantime while I'm waiting. Um, I was hoping I'd queue into this as quickly as I have for some of the other dungeons. Hmm. Wondering if there's somehow something I'm different I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know. I think I took a I took a preliminary look at some of the patch notes for what was going on here. So, and I think one of them was that this this dungeon or this quest was being updated. So I don't know if that is what's changing. If that's what's affecting my ability to get into this so quickly, I don't know. Okay, it's currently four minutes. <laughs> hmm. Oh, actually, good idea now that I think about it. Hey, Black Coral, let's see what else I can ha do for the mini roulette. Let's see who is going to be joining me for today. That will be... Ah, my little wind-up airship again. Neat. I guess that's kind of fitting, maybe, considering we're dealing with... Uh, we used an airship to... Oops, you To help with this attack? Kind of? Although, wait, was the air... No, the airship is still in Gridania, isn't it? Has, was it being used at all to ferry people to and from fields of battle? I don't know if they said they were doing that or not. That would be interesting if they were. Hmm. Well, um, <laughs> again, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Well, now. Sadly, don't know what to do in the meantime. Hmm. Now that I think about it, um... I did say that I'm going to be starting to do uh, streams on Sundays going forward, but I guess because because things can ch oh never mind I was going to say because things can change. I guess what it could happen is if I can't tr stream on on Sundays, then I will stream on Tuesdays going forward. I think that's what I'm going to do. And finally, we're getting into this. It's been a while. I've forgotten how to play already. Finally made it to Castrum Meridiana. All right, time to begin. Am I ready to go? All right. I don't love husband's thing. This is Sid. To review your goal is to deactivate the Magitech field. Uh, I know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So the heaven changes. My uh, first attack actually doesn't a circle around me instead of a wave. Interesting. Okay, that's a, that's good to know. 
so I don't have to keep moving in order to be activate my Mythil Tempest. I like that. Also, not generating any points toward getting my other attacks. Oh well. Last one. Nice. All right. Do I need to target that at all? No. I guess not. Excuse me. Would you like to die? I grab all of you. There we go. <laughs> oh, wrong button. No, wrong button again. There, reduce damage. I haven't done that in a while. A lot of big noises happening right now. Woo! Really loud. And last ones. Right? There we go. Oh, hello, I see more. Come here. All of you, come here. Man, those alarms are loud. Almost got him. Halfway through all of them. There we go. Last ones. And one more. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I'll continue into the Meridiano itself, it looks like. I see you over there. Come here. I want to get all of you. There we go. Nope, what are you doing? Get over here. There we go. Hi. I don't know what I'm attacking you, Zach. At least the alarm isn't going up anymore, but I can still hear it, I think. Yeah, I still hear it. Well, it's not as loud as it was before, but this is still pretty loud. Any more? Oh, yep, still got these. Okay. Sorry, I saw something go down for some reason I thought it had to do with me. Here. Uh, I didn't get any... couldn't get the other attacks, so I couldn't get any additional points. Woo! Alright, guys, let's go! Come after me, guys. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Oh, it's just you next? Okay. Cool, I can do this. Oh, hello. Um, how about you come after me, please? Yeah, there we go. Woo, what was that? Nope, please. Don't do that, please. You all position. There we go. Burn them all down. Good, last one. We get a damage bonus going on here, because I haven't done that yet. There we go. And I've also got points for... Bang! Oh, hello. And grab you, guys. Make sure I got all of you. There we go. Keep coming after me. What we gotta do if I reduce damage. Ooh, I'm taking no damage. Nice. Oh, it's because I have a shield. I'm just realizing I looked up my, my own bar up in the top corner. Someone gave me a shield. Awesome. Oh, I see you. Hello. Oh, there's a guy behind me, too. How's about you come after me? And only me. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's get angry for a bit. There we go. More damage! Yeah! Oh, there's more yeah, more enemies. I didn't see them. <laughs> last ones! It should be the last ones. There! Dexter, how are you faring? Reached a dead end, you say? I believe I know where you are. Oh, okay. Apparently going in here. There's a disposal chute nearby. Find it and jump in. Cool. It'll emerge in a different sector. Hmm. Hi, guys. I made it. Where are we going? Heading up, it seems. Assault crafts are near. Watch out for incoming fire. Okay, so we apparently have to dodge attacks, too. Ready? Let's go. Whee! 
Well, at least they missed. <laughs> what are you attacking all the way over there for? That's weird. Missed, it missed us entirely. Just barely missed that time. Woo. No, I'd rather not get hit by that. Thank you. Wow, you guys are bad aim if you keep hitting in spots that are not where I am or where we are. Bang! <laughs> All right, let us continue. Where are the nice guys? I heard that. That must have been behind us. Excuse me. Come after me, please. Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. I'm probably going to get hit by that. Can't tell if I was. I was hit by something, though. Woo. Almost got ya. Almost. Hey, whoop. Now it's just you. Ah, Let's build up some points while I'm at it. And also damage bonus. There we go. Oh, hello. Come after me, please. Thank you. <laughs> you are mine now. It's too bad none of these area of effect attacks also increase my ability to get points. Because that would really help for doing my uh, steel cyclone attack. But no. I guess I get another attack at a later level that lets me do that. Or some kind of special ability that get, uh, has these earned points for me. Maybe. But for now, just burn them all down with a bunch of axe swings and axe strikes. Axe. More X wings. Yeah. I can't think properly. Oh, just one more. Yeah. Last one. All right. Ooh, I see two over there. Hello. I'd like to fight you two. Come after me. There we go. Haha, <laughs> you guys are so stupid. Oh, don't want to get hit by that, whatever that is. Woo! Don't want to get hit by that either. Yeah, we're doing good so far. Almost got him. Almost. Oh, still this guy. Wow, you got a lot of health. Much more health than the other guy. Okay, let me get some additional points. And, oh, almost got enough for... There we go. Now I got enough. Bang. Ha, ha, ha. Look out for that. All right, done. Ooh, next up, Majestic Vanguard F1. How bad is this gonna be? Woo! Let's see. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, there we go. Thermo Barbaric Strike. Uh-oh, what's that? Okay, apparently we're getting away from that. Eee. Oh, okay. I wanted that entirely. Get some damage while I'm out here. There we go. Yeah. Apparently didn't need to boost that anymore. Oh well. Ow! Jerk. I didn't even know what you did, but it hurt. Let them get a bit of health back. Reduce damage for a bit. I haven't done that in a while. Whew. Sorry about that. It didn't mean to aim it at you guys. Back to the center. Yeah. Oh, hello. How about no? Woo! Oh, fun. Get some damage in while you're out there. There we go. Big attack. And bang! There we go. Yeah. I haven't done this in a while. How about that? Probably should have done that first.
Yeah, you big idiot. Keep attacking me. You're only gonna hurt yourself. Another thermo bar oh thermobaric strike. Not thermobarbaric, what am I thinking? Ow. That probably hurt. Woo! Got him! I've located the controls for the security system. A moment while I disable the barriers. I'm also pleased to say I found a suit of armor. Press on, I'll meet you just ahead. A suit of armor? Oh, referring to the Magitek stuff? Oh, hello. May I kill you? Here, just keep going after me. Yeah. Don't want to get hit by that. Whatever that is. Or that. I take you all down myself. Oh, I'm still... Okay. Darn it. Still on cooldown for that one. Oh, please don't hit me with that. Thank you. Woo! Whoa! That's multiples. There we go. Don't worry, I got him. That's just two left. Now it's just one, I think. Yeah. Nope, there's three left. There were three in total, apparently. There we go. Now it's just this one. And you're the last one. Not anymore! Another bulkhead. Fortunately, I'm equipped for the task. Stand back. Thank you, Sid. Go. Yeah, come on. The field generator should be just up ahead. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you were going out there something that might have been over there. I guess not. There it is. Keep the enemy occupied while I take out, uh, take it out of commission. Hello. Would you like to die? Please say yes. Well, you come after me, guys. And you. There we go. All of you. Nah, I'd rather not get hit by that. Thank you. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Go, Sid, go! I didn't even see him walk past me. I keep getting hit a lot. How about I reduce damage for a bit? That'd be a good idea. Last ones. Good, last ones. Yeah. And a little bit of help. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Here, come after me for a bit. Whoop, don't want to get hit by that. Or that. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. How about, I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, keep hitting me, you idiots. I mean, I don't like to be hit, but... It apparently hurts you to do so. Oh, I walked into that attack. Whoopsie. Well, it wasn't for much damage, thankfully. Keep hitting me, boys. I mean, again, I don't want to. Whoop. Avoid that. Almost got him. Or one of them, at least. There we go. Last one. Now build up some points. Well, I still can. Yeah! Good, go good going, Sid. Diverting all power to cannons. Oh, it's doing automatically instead. Nice shot. There we go. There it is. Oh, finally, my lord is quite taken with you and the power you possess, the Echo. Naturally, I could not help but wonder whom this prince among, them might, uh, prince among them might be, only to discover that you are but another adventurer, no better than the multitude. Yet in spite of this, the masses hold you to their champion and shower honors upon your head. It defies all reason. How is it that you could be such a thorn in our side? Wherever you appear, you have we leave havoc in your wake. You even slew Ratadin, one of our very finest. That I did. Well, I will not speculate. Truth be told, I could care less how you have done these things. What matters to me is the fact that you have done them. If you are allowed to continue, you will eventually derive me of all that I have toiled for. All that is mine by right. 
my minions, my comrades, even my Lord Gaius. Well, you cannot have him! I mean, I don't want him in the same way that you do. His dreams and ambitions, his body and soul, they are mine, do you hear me? All mine! I lost everything once before. I will not suffer... I couldn't read the rest. I was, wasn't reading it was quick enough. I will kill you, adventurer. Only your death can bring me peace. This is for Noroxia, you bitch! If it can actually load in thing. Oh! Okay. I was gonna say for a moment it looked like an instance. There we go. Eee! Mind if I kill you for a bit? Alright. Damage up. And big hit. Bang! Woo! Artificial plasma. Hmm. Here, let me uh, do this for a bit. I haven't done this in a while. Oh. Okay. Here, let me keep attacking. There we go. Another big hit. Bang! Oh, what's that? Algeal climb? Interesting. That was a rather big hit, surprisingly. Not as big as I thought it would be. You have made me wroth! Oh, have I? That's a lot of AoEs. Ooh, voice acting. I haven't heard that in a while. Whoa! Okay, let's avoid stuff. Nice! Here, keep coming after me. You're tough, I grant you that. I am tough, I'm built like a tank! But I will break you soon enough. Um, I'm thinking no. Not with my red part up! <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Apparently that was an attack that targeted only me? I don't know. Okay, then get my damage bonus back up. Yeah. Oh, not this again. Woo! Oh, I messed up my combo. Oh, apparently... Ow! Well, it wasn't as damaging as I thought it would be. Okay, so apparently this isn't an area of effect around me, maybe? So avoid that. Big hit! <laughs> uh, still got stuff to do. Or stuff I did. Yeah. I can't think! I get another big hit! Bang! No, not this again. Come on. Damage him while I'm here. There we go. Yeah, we're doing good so far. Surprisingly. Okay, let me get my damage bonus back up again. Quickly, because it's getting low. Four seconds, there we go. Now I can use a big hit. Bang! You will not defeat me, you will not. Oh, I'm thinking I will. Oh, there we go. Do this again. <laughs> Whenever you hurt me, I hurt you too. Okay, because you stopped doing that. Thank you. Almost gotcha. Yeah! Take that! No. It's happening all over again. Please. I cannot bear it. Don't take him away from me. My Lord Gaius. She's actually dead. Damn. Hey, Sid. You missed it. Another poor fool who craves Gaius' affection over all else. May her soul no rest. "'Tis a miracle no harm has come to you, my friend, one for which I will happily give thanks." Yeah, I'm surprised too, honestly. "'And thanks for your fine diversionary work, we've succeeded in bringing down the Generator Tower, and with it, the Magitech Field. The way to the Praetorium now lies open. The only problem is, we can't reach it on foot." "'What?' 
Oh, is this where the airship is going to take? Nay, we'll need to take the Enterprise. I left her at the uh, Cerulean Processing Plant, so let's regroup there. This is it, Dexter. The final confrontation awaits. So we don't actually go to the Praetorium yet. All right. Elegant tombstones. Oh, uh, oh man, everyone's left. I can't give commendations to anyone. Darn it. Elegant tombstones. Elagan, sorry. Elagan tombstones are relics of a lost civilization which perished several ages past. It is said that they contain the knowledge of the Elagan Empire and as such are highly sought up by collectors around Eorzea. Rowena and her associates are representatives of one such collector and have been sent to Revenant's Toll in the heart of Mordona. I thought it was Mordona, by her employer to seek out adventurers willing to exchange the tombstones they've come across in their journeys for weapons and armor. Awesome! And I received a couple, right? I think like a hundred or so? Oh, I'm just looking at my uh, my chat log here. Someone gave me a head pat. Thank you, whoever that was. Jazzy, uh, Missy Jasper. Thank you for that. Was there anyone else by chance? No? Oh. Well, someone kept saying thank for the part. Whoa, someone just did a lot of emotes. Dang, Missy, you did a lot of emotes here. Woo! I don't even know what these emotes are supposed to represent. Oh, wait. Oh, it's supposed to be a, a giant emoji, a giant uh, ASCII picture of Pikachu. I think that's what it is. That's cool. I mean, went through all that effort to sh for it to show up like this. That's weird. All right, time to go. Leave duty. Again, uh, everyone left before I could give accommodation, sadly. Raban, the deed is done. What's next? I knew you wouldn't let us down, soldier. With the Praetorium stripped of its defenses, the way to the ultimate weapon lies open. The time has come for the final phase of Operation Archon. Ooh. Oh, right. Then I get options for stuff. And I think... Yeah, aiming is for a uh, ranged DPS class, which I do not currently have unlocked. So I'm going to focus on one of these instead. I think I have something good for healing already. Let's get something for my summoner. Rings of Casting. Oh, nope. Rings of Casting. There we go. Yay! Or dark light earrings. All right. What's next, Roban? The ultimate weapon. Roban has some parting words for you ahead of the final phase of Operation Archon. For the final phase of the operation, my flames will storm Castor Meridianum and suppress what is left of the Imperial Garrison. If all goes well, this will all this will allow you to reach the Praetorium unopposed, fit and ready for your encounter with the ultimate weapon. Yours is the most dangerous mission of all, but the best must bear the heaviest burden, and you're the best we have. There's not another soul in this realm that could see this deed done, and Verlvib and Kanae are of the same mind as me. Throw all hangs on your success. You must not let your plight make you desperate. Victory belongs to the bold, not the reckless. Bards are wont to sing of heroes who valued their life at not next to honor, love, and liberty. But I tell you now, that which men value at not, uh, they sell cheap. Uh, that which men value at not, they sell cheap. Risk no more than you must. You hear me? Now, best you, uh, now best you are off. We have work to do, the both of us. See that your preparations are in order. Then report to Sid. He awaits you with the Enterprise at the Cerulean Processing Plant. May Ralgar grant you strength. Thank you, General. Now we have to head back to Cer the Cerulean Plant, which is back to the south. Yeah. Try to avoid as many of these guys as possible. I see that there is a fate here, which I'm not going to involve myself with at the moment. Someone's apparently fighting it. No, I'd rather not fight you. Please go away. Gonna avoid you entirely, so you just... Stay away. There we go. Oh, almost. Almost. There we go. Now, where are you, Sid? I see you're off in this direction somewhere. Aha! Must be here. There it is. There's the Enterprise. Hey, Sid. How are you? The Enterprise is at your disposal. When you're ready to head for the Praetorium, you need only say the word. If we succeed in destroying the Ultima weapon, it will deal a crippling blow to the Empire's hopes of conquest. After that, the 17th Legion will not dare move against us. Barring the discovery of further Orlog and Doomsday devices, that is. 
Let's hope not. Let's be on our way, Dexter. Guys and his plaything await. The Praetorium now accessible. Do regular duty. Aha! Here it is. All right! Time to go take the fight to the big man! Wait. Enter the Praetorium with a party of NPCs? I can do that? Let's actually try that. I haven't done this before. Huh. No alternate members are available, so I have just these three random characters. Interesting. Yeah, let's try this. Register for duty. And commence. I wasn't expecting them to be able to use NPCs for this. I thought it would have had to be with other players, considering that's what we do for all the others. This must I wonder if this is a new feature as a result of that patch. Now it is time. The Praetorium. <laughs> you okay, Biggs? Uh, Wedge? Sorry. Wrong characters. So here we are. The Ultima Weapon will almost certainly be housed in the depths of the complex. Later, guys. Thank you for the help. You be careful, Wedge. This is it, my friend. I'm realizing out of these NPCs, there we have two that are among the serpents, I think, and then one that is a flame. It would have been interesting if... Oh, it's probably because I'm part of the... Um, can't even think. I'm Probably because I'm part of the Maelstrom that, all, that no one from the Maelstrom shows up here. That must be why. All right, time to go, guys. Uh, let me make sure this is... Nope, make sure this is active. Sorry. We need to take, make our way down. There ought to be a terminal or a lift up ahead. Let's deal with these guys first. Wrong one. I wanted to do this. I mean, uh, this. Also reduce damage because I'm taking a lot. Thanks for the help, guys. Maybe. Okay, last one. Oh, oh, took, down, took down one so far. I'm also realizing that this... That we only have four party members here, whereas uh, one of the instances before we had eight. So I'm wondering why the number went down for these, for these last two missions. I wish I knew, honestly. Oh, I want you. Yeah, there we go. Here it is. If you tear, if you care to take the van, I'll show you after I've had a look. I'll, I'll look around. I can't think. So do we interact with that? There we go. You care to take the van? Interesting. And there's no van here. Woo! Okay, fun. The place is being attacked while we're attacking it. Nope, you come here too. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this now. I think. Oh, that's not up. I, I can do this though. Yeah! Overall DPS! Alright! Four more. Yeah, it is just four, yeah. damage. Three left. Just continue smacking. It's okay. Two left. I can might as well just keep doing this from now on. Done. Oh. Oh. Place opened up for us to go. Let's go. 
outside now. Okay, just checking to see if there's anything special. Hello! Whoa! Yeah, come after me. Oh, looks like we're getting a uh, suppressing fire. Oh, it's too bad those things don't damage these guys, too. Um, are you guys... Oh, now you move after you're going to get hit. That's smart. Also, I'm going to... Ow! Can't do that yet. Do more damage. There we go. You know what? I haven't done this in a while. Yeah. Almost got him. Kind of. We're halfway there. I mean, I guess the fact that these enemies aren't actual jobs, or these uh, allies of mine aren't actual jobs, is going to make it that much. Um, going to take that much longer to take them down. That might be why this is taking so long. Okay, just two more. Last one. There we go. All right, let's go. Nothing special along the way, I'm realizing. I hope. And the thumb torch gets hit. Hi, guys. Would you like to hurt for a bit? So I can do that. Ow. How about don't do that? Can't even see what I'm looking at. So much destruction and death. Can you stop shooting at me, though? I mean, bullets hurt, too. Ah, oh, Rambo's down. How about this, then? Go ahead. Keep hitting me. I dare you. No, nope, I don't want to hit by that. Thank you. Woo! Stop hitting me with all these AOEs I have to dodge. Come on. There we go. Oh, took one, took down one, I think. Thanks, guys. Got three left. And it's taking a while to take him down because apparently these allies of mine are not that competent. Come on, stop hitting me with the big hit. Stop. Okay, got... Yeah, good. One left. Done. Woo! Oh, another place opened up, I see. Let's make our way back inside through here. Ooh, Magistic Transporter. Are there any chests in this dungeon at all? I'm not seeing any. Magical Transporter. Interact? Yeah. Okay... Now to just continue through? Yeah, I don't see anything else. Good. Okay, let's continue through then. Oh. Hello, Gaius. Gaius. Are we actually going to fight you right now? Ah, Sid, my boy. You are late. Late for what? There is something I always meant to tell you, yet the time never seemed right. It concerns your father. What of him? In the winter of his years, Midas came to abhor his part in Meteor. He told me that he wanted nothing more than to wash his hands of the whole sordid business. But he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it killed him. N Come now, Sid. You must know that he did not leave, have the luxury of choice. By the time he realized his error, it was too late. Meteor had him completely in its thrall. Shortly before this transformation, mayhap sensing that something was amiss, your father confided to me all the regrets of his life. Most of them concerned you. Early in your career, he realized that you, while you had a talent for devising armaments, it would never fulfill you. Long before you knew your own mind, he saw that you would be far happier using the knowledge of your peaceful purposes, and the thought touched him. He was a changed man for it. Though he could not let it show. You ripped open the walls in this place just so you could say this to me? 
What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your destiny. My father had a change of heart. You said so yourself. Besides, I've long known my destiny, and I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. A pity. And what of you, adventurer? Will you not consider making a uh, common... Uh, with the powers joined to mine, we might do much for this realm. Together, we could bring order to Eorzea and usher in a lasting peace. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. No? And I can accept, uh, expect no better answer than this? So be it. It is your strength that makes me proffer my hand in friendship, and it is your strength that makes me proffer now to bl my blade. Save as an ally, you are too dangerous to be let, let to live? Is that what it's going to say? Okay, we're not fighting him, we're fighting... Ooh, hello. Hello, Iron Giants. How are you? Run, Sid, or stay. It matters not. You cannot escape the past. Good thing I read about that in time. Guys, wait! Damn it! Well, looks like we gotta take care of the Iron Giant first. Let's do this! Be careful now! Why should I? I just beat this thing senseless. Oh, wrong buttons. There we go. I wanted to do this. I wasn't paying attention to my own attacks. Whoopsie. Ow. How dare. Do this. And this. No, don't go after... What are you doing? Well, apparently not what we're supposed to do, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Good. Combo. What the? What was that? Prototype laser beta. I don't know what you're doing. Oh. Interesting. I guess it just don't group up with allies. There we go. Yeah. It was called Iron Kiss. What? That's a strange name for an attack. And big hit. Boom. Yeah. Not another Cerulean vent, how dare. Okay, let me do this for a bit. Apparently that was a rushing attack of sorts? Or maybe he was just running to the center. Haha, <laughs> I paired some of that. He's gonna do another one? Nope, another prototype laser beta, whatever that is. And this again. Almost gotcha. Big hit! Bang! Gotcha! Command center's no longer sealed. Right, I'll examine the equipment for intelligence. Press on. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Direct. Let's go. Ooh, Majestic Armor Bay. Anything here? Nope, just checking. Well, well, would you look at this? It's the armor we borrowed for our mission at Custom Sentry. Oh! If this isn't fate, I don't know what is. Go on, strap yourself in and raise hells. <gasps> I get to pilot this thing for this mission? Nice! I wish I knew exactly what I need to do. Do I need to continue this way at all? I don't know if there's anything over here. There's apparently nothing over here. Okay. I wasted my time. Does it still have the symbol? Yes, it does. That's awesome. Nice. Okay. Let's go. What was it, what was it this thing was called? Um, I already forget. Maggie. Maggie, that's what it was called. Let's go, Maggie. Walked on stream in Magitech Cannon. Let's see if that does anything. Can I do this right? Oh, there we go. 
I didn't use their correct buttons. What are you doing? There we go. And now for you. Oh, apparently not in... Oh, that must mean I'm not in range to use it. Boop. Huh. Weird. Doesn't want to work for some reason. How about you don't? Oh, it's because I was pressing the wrong buttons. I see. I needed to not have anything else selected. So let's try it again. With the next attack. Hi, guys! Let's avoid those. Okay, let's try this again. Need to do this, and then... Move a bit closer. Closer. There we go! Yeah, I didn't have to... Need, I wasn't supposed to have anything else selected. That's what it was. How about no? Apparently, I can attack much quicker than I usually do. Or than I think I can. I can attack much quicker than I think I can. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Gotcha. And then we head back inside here, it looks like. All right, what's next, Maggie? Where do we go from here? Through here, it seems. Whoa. This place looks pretty. Whoa! Oh, hello. Let me take this out. Apparently didn't need to do that. Yeah! Next up, through this way. Oh, hello. Doo -doo -doo. And... Boop! I take you all down. Oh, apparently I actually have to be facing the direction I need to in order to attack the enemy. Is that it? Maybe it is. Apparently so. Let me just double check here. Okay, I do need to actually be facing it. That's good to know. There's no indicator to show that I need to do that. That's strange. Hi. It did it. Boop. <laughs> That's a fun attack to use. Nice. Maggie's really useful. I like Maggie. Ooh. I get the feeling... There we go. I knew that was going to happen. And let me take this out. Oh, not close enough, apparently. There we go. I didn't realize there was a range to it as well, for some reason. It just let me attack without actually dealing any damage. Oh, there's another one. Hi. I'm taking you out, too. And one more. All obstacles out of the way. Let's go. So really, uh, Sermet Blast Door. Oh, do I have to attack this? Boop. Oh, apparently we need to do more damage than just that. All right, let's continue then. Keep keep firing. Almost. 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 Yeah, got it. Good job, Maggie. Hmm? Who this? That bulkhead is composed of a special alloy. Extremely tough. Ordinary fire won't leave a mark, I'm afraid. You'll need to divert all power to the matches at cannon, as I did to Castor Meridianum. Oh. The armor's core is like, an, is like to expire from the strain, but there's no help it if the, we want to press on. Oh. Now listen well. Press the... Control, engage in ancillary, then fire away. Don't mind the warning sign. Like warning, warning lights. Okay. Bright light.
Good job, Maggie. Uh oh. Uh, do I need to get out of this thing? Uh, I guess it just powers down. I thought it was gonna explode or something. Good thing it didn't. You're a natural at this. All right, the way's clear, but it's just you on your own two feet now, so be careful. Understood, boss. Thanks, Maggie. Maybe we'll find a way to uh, re to uh, get you out of this eventually, or make a new one. Actually, making a new mammoth heart would be difficult. Ugh. I guess we're just stuck leaving that one behind. Darn it. All right, let's continue on. This looks final. Oh, but it isn't. It only looks final. So what are we fighting in here? For some reason, it looks strange in this light. You have done. You have been leaving a fine mess in your wake, adventurer. Have I? I guess I have. Hm? Hello again. Is someone there? Maybe. Garland, old friend. How it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Dero, is that you? You sound well. It would seem this savage lance agrees with you. The highest ranking tribunus of the 16th. What is it you? Why is it you all that? Ah. Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Uh, what? You've lost me. Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I have been condemned to live in your shadow. By all objective measure, I was the more talented of the two of us, yet the fact counted for naught beside your privileged birth. You were admired as the young prodigy simply because your father was the great Midas non Garland. When you were defect when you defected, I felt sure my star would finally rise. But by disappearing you acquired a status of legend. Your repeated genius gained credence merely by dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you for a traitor, the people actually came to think of you more fondly. To this day, you are still the young prodigy of Magitech. I, meanwhile, have never been made to feel second-rate. That didn't sound right. Who I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully, whenever I fail to excel, why, it is only to be expected. Yet when I exceed all reasonable expectations, people will proclaim I walk in the footsteps of the great Sid, non-bloody Garland. Nero, I don't know what to say. It matters not a whit what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Va uh, Van Belsar saw fit to offer you a place at his side, and this is spite of your betrayal. Did you extend any such offer to me, the man who has remained loyal to him for all these years? Why, no, he did not. Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord Von Belsar is the mightest, is the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima weapon. It is my magnum opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. I will not let anyone interfere. Nero, what are you? Uh oh, what did that do? Ever since I first set foot on this belighted land, I have watched you. Every move you have made, every step you have taken. You have felled icons, a feat made possible by the Echo, a peculiar power which steals you from their corrupting influence. It is of little wonder that my lord has taken an interest in you. As of I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use in the Ultima weapon. What are you doing? Ooh. Oh, big hammer. I wield that? Should I succeed, Lord Van Belsar will surely take notice. Besides this, Garland's achievements will be as child's play. Come, adventurer, and yield to me the secrets of your power!
Well, you're gonna have to come and take it. Let's go, everybody! Whee! Wrong button. Who just decided to use a limit break on that? At least I think... Yeah, that was a limit break. That was the... Whoa. Whoa, what? I will lay Garland low, but first I must break you. Break me, huh? Try it. So apparently that was an area of effect attack where everyone had to get together in order to avoid it. Ooh. That's interesting. Why would you want to get attacked? Meet one of my creations. You might uh, find it a handful. Uh-oh. Is he invulnerable while this thing is active? Oop. Gotta give us some bit damage him while I still can. Now come here. Big hit. Ow. Here, let me do this. I haven't done this in a while. Ooh. Augmented suffering. That sounded fun. Oh, everyone get back together. Good. Apparently we... Oh, don't want to get hit by that either. Good. Apparently I'm getting the hang of this. Also, I keep using my cooldowns in the incorrect times, apparently. Because I think that entire time I had my uh, vengeance up, it didn't even attack me. Oh, we got another one. Good. Take care of it. Uh-oh. How about no? Let's make another big hit in. Bang. Now, come here. I said, come here. Almost got you. Almost done to 10%. Less than 10%. And I'm getting hit really hard for some reason. Almost got you. Oh, wrong one. Oh, everyone gathered up. Almost. Got him! Yay. We got Nero. Nero defeated. This changes nothing. Oh, what happened? The lights went out. And if he's gone, of course. Well, shoot. <laughs> the Ultima weapon is activated, and it brims with the power of icons. Nothing can withstand its might. Hey, Sid, what's up? Are you alright? Yeah, barely. What of Nero? Fled? Damn it. In the instant prior to the blackout, the instruments detected a massive power surge from the deepest chamber. Oh, that's what's caused the blackout. Guys is certain to be there. We have no time to waste. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade of Castrum Sentry. Good. What hands they can spare is hastening its way even as we speak, and likewise for the Maelstrom. All that's left is to destroy the Ultima weapon. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with the etheric energies. There's bound to be heavy interference. Oh, I probably can't continue, uh, talk with him. But even if we lose contact, we must go on. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Not entirely sh I don't remember exactly what that would be, but I will try. Okay, what is next? Where do we go? Oh, this way? Yeah, this way. Arrive on the Echelon. Ooh. The Echelon. Ah, Magic Terminal. I assume I use this to get on board. Interact? Let's go. Look for the MIPS control panel. It'll be somewhere nearby. Take the lift down. 
and you should find yourself in the chamber of the Ultima Weapon. All right, got it. Except I'm too t too short to actually hit the panel, but I hit it anyway somehow. This lift is pretty big. Am I going to have to fight someone on this thing? I guess it would have to be big enough for the ultimate weapon to sit on it, but... Sounds like I mean, I never think about it. Nope, didn't last long enough. Hi. We meet again. Tell me, for who do you fight? The people? Yeah, <laughs> that's my reaction too. How <laughs> very glib. And do you believe in Eorzea? I'm gonna say yes. Eorzea's unity is forged of falsehoods. Its city-states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. Are you implying that yours isn't? It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead. Though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Do you not have beasts in your lands? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well in Cartano and call them down? It's not exactly something I could just do on a whim, buddy. They will answer. So long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, everyone. Except for this. And you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters. Which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? I mean, I can't really answer for him, jerk. The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict. To grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. I mean, yeah, but it doesn't mean you have to actively do so, I guess. Knowing Ooh. this, but a single path is open to the infinite ruler, that of false worship, a path which leads to innovation and death. I mean, I like your armor and all, but... <laughs> Only a man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea. Face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. I'm not sure if this is going to go well for you, buddy. That I should take your realm, for none among you has the power to stop me. Well, we'll have to see about that. Okay, are you NPCs ready? Time to go kick some the Emperor's butt, or Emperor-to-be. You guys ready? Let's do this. Let us dance, champion of Eorzea. And why does this music sound familiar? Oh, wait. Okay, I've heard of this music before, actually, but this one doesn't have lyrics to it. Huh. Yeah, I think the original track was from version 1.0, right? During the final battle of that game? 
I think that was the case. Big hit! Bang! Phantasma. Oh, what are those? Oh, I don't think I want to get hit by those. Here, keep hitting me. I dare you. Hmm. I already know my place. Thank you very much. How dare you hurt me like that. Oh. Team up. Haha, <laughs> you didn't do that much damage. At least I don't think you did. Hey, let me reduce damage for a bit. I haven't done that in a while. Impressive. Now it is my turn. What is your turn? Oh, what are you doing? Ooh. I think I got hit by that. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Ah, oh, wrong button. Oh. Get away from that. Yeah. And get the damage bonus again. I don't want to lose that. Big hit. Boom. <laughs> I'm being cheeky. I've got a bit of health. Get a little more health. Yeah, there we go. Another Ductus. Oh, this again, huh? You stay away from that. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. Oh, I still got hit by one. Darn it, I didn't even realize. Thanks for the help, guys, I think. Another big hit. Uh, I don't have any of those yet. Woo! Horida Bella. Hmm. If you will not yield, then you will be destroyed. I somehow don't think that's the case. Oh, hello. You guys begins to charge. I guess I have to take out these. Maybe. Oh, using the wrong attacks here. Yeah, help me take care of these, please. Ooh. Oh, wrong attack. I wanted to do this. Nope, avoid that. Big hit. Come on, guys. I need help taking these out. Probably should actually be helping the other allies to deal with these instead. Ooh, what is that? They can have some kind. Ow. That hurt. Uh-oh. Did it work? Yeah. Woo! That wasn't as much damage as I thought it would be. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Here, let me retaliate for a bit. Woohoo! Gotcha! Ooh, and I leveled up from that. I'm level 52 now, I think. Mm. I had not thought to be so hard pressed. Well, that was your fault. Your strength is most impressive. Such power befits a ruler. I wouldn't want to rule. I'm terrible at it. Yet, you lack the resolve to put it to proper use. A waste. I mean, that's one way to put it. You have reached our destination. Hey, where are you going? Come back here and fight me! Unless you're gonna... Oh, right. I have to fight that thing next, don't I? <sighs> Great. Okay, let's go do this. Oh, wait, I beat it already? What? Oh, I can uh, do the next class quest now, apparently. Huh. Wait, we actually won? We're not actually going to fight the ultimate weapon then? Um, okay. Maybe that's a cutscene thing. I guess we'll have to see.
Hello. Oh, there you are. So wondering where you ran off to. Allow me then, hero, to do that which you will not. Okay, strange flex to take out your weapon and just point it at me then only to put it away. Hmm. So what happens? Do we actually... The Port of Dekumana now accessible. Okay. Can I actually interact with you, by the way, since you're here? Apparently not. Let me get a better look at you while I'm here. Since I probably won't get this chance again. Oh, ah! Camera. Hmm. Neat. Go under your tail, along the backside. Cool. I mean, you look cool and imposing and all. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just beat your- just turn you to scrap. I guess we go into this to fi to actually fight this, I guess? Oh, another way with NPCs or with a party of other players. Should I do it with other players this time? Let's try it. Let's do it with other players this time. Porta Dekumana. Uh, make sure I don't have the other thing selected. Make sure I don't have customer ready on us selected. There we go. Let's see if this actually works. Average wait time less than five minutes. Let's see if anyone is willing to fight this thing with me. Well, if I'd known this was going to happen, then I would have actually uh, done this first and before looking at the guy. And apparently, doing this allows me to just exit to north, back to North Thandalin. Huh. Well, that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm wondering if I actually should play this with our other players at this point, then. Nah, I don't want to wait too long, so let's actually uh, withdraw from this one and actually do that again. That would be back here, Porta de Kumana. Oh, wait, no, I want to do with NPCs. There we go. Back to having these people again? All right. Let's go. Time to go scrap a giant robot. The Porta Decumana. That's what it was called, the Porta Decumana. That was the name of the stage, that's what I meant. That's what it meant by not having a having a that's what I meant by having a to the true power of the Ultima Weapon. I couldn't even speak properly. I was trying to say that's what I thought the name actually was. That's, I was trying to think of what the name actually was. It was Porta Decumana, not Praetorium. From Dissidia NT. Okay, let's go scrap this thing! Are you inferior NPCs ready? Make sure I have this active. Alright, let's go! Each time a party member is defeated after having battle, uh, the Echo will grant you increased strength. Oh! Whoa! I don't want to have to fight that, thank you. Where am I going to get hit? Whew, only about a thousand damage? That's fine. Oh, I want to get hit by whatever that is. Get ready, we stay away from that. Ow. Oh, and then stay away from that AoE. Oh, and then you use it too? Oh. Don't want to get by those. There we go. Oh! Or those. Time to be vengeful. Okay, thank you for the heal. Whew, we're sticking a lot. Give me a healing back. There we go. Oh, something's gonna hit us. Who or what is it? Oh, it's Titan again. Guys, I want to stay away from that. 
Good. You guys are smart. Stay away from that, too. I haven't done this in a while, let's do that. Bang! There we go. Just keep hitting! Yeah, there we go. Oh, what are you doing? Land itself is mine to wield. What is this? Oh, I'm stuck. Um. Well now, interesting. Hear, feel, think. Thy foe is darkness clad in steel. If thou wouldst triumph, thou must look to the light. Ooh, we're free! Oh, nice! Oh! Interesting, it took him out. It took Titan out. Awesome! Oh, I see. So whenever Titan's essence torn from the ultimate weapon? So I guess it means that whenever that happens, whenever he's going to use his ultimate attack, um, the Mother Crystal's going to interfere. Okay, next up. Ow, um, low on it. I can't use that. That's not even for that much damage. That's fine. Health back, thank you. Ow. Or could you not, though? Oof. Don't know what that is. Don't want to get hit by it. Or that. Oh. All right. Cool. Whoa. Doing it. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Ooh, I'm taking a lot of hits. Here, let me get some health back. There we go. Gonna take you, force you away from my allies. Another big hit. Bang! Eye of the storm. What are you doing? Ah. Turn to pocket a calm wind within the storm. Whoop. Away from that. Nice try! You're not gonna hit me with that. But I am gonna hit you with this. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoop, where are you going? Vortex barrier. Wind is at my beck and call. Um. Oh. Interesting. Oh, is this going to be the other thing? Yep. She's going to interfere again. Once more, Crystal Bearer. Look to the light to vanquish the darkness. Fervent hope strikes. Yay! Okay, let's beat him up. Keep beating it up. Thank you, Gorita, for your services. Gorita as well? Impossible. But the ultimate weapon is not spent of Icon power yet. Not yet, but it will be soon. How about no? Yeah, reduce damage. Get away from that. I almost didn't do it in time. Woo. This. Boom. Can we do this? I haven't done this in a while. Woo. Close to him. Don't want to be hit by whatever this is. Eee. Oh, okay. Face it away from my people. There we go. Get health back. That harm you dearly. Bang! There we go. Cooldowns are still low. Although I can get some health back. There we go. Ah, uh, woo! You almost got me. Thankfully, you didn't. Some points back. Woo! Go back to this. And then back to the center? No? Huh. Not back to the center. Big hit. Did it actually hit? Oh, boy. Oh. Radiant Blaze, this is another one where she interferes. 
Not will remain of you, but ash. At least he's not invulnerable for this thing. Yield not to the darkness, my child. Pray to the crystal and all with thy being. With all thy being. Fervent hope shines forth. And Ifrit is out. Now it's just you, Ultima Weapon. No! How how are you doing this? Good question. And big hit. Almost got it. I think. Oh. Uh, what's happening? But the Ultima Weapon is all powerful. Why does my enemy still stand? Because it's not all powerful. Think, buddy, think. Can his strength truly be so great? Nah, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> it is the blessing of light that confounds you. Oh. Once I Xehanort possessed, uh. Yeah, Xehanort possessed Thancred is back. Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal he bears. So, this is what empowers him. Is that the Echo? Is that what they call it? Beyond mortal limits. If you are to prevail, the Hammer of Darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the Shield of Light. That would just cancel itself out if you think about it. And so it shall, for the Ultima Weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Uh-oh. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. Heart of Sabik. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? Well, if it's something to activate, please don't. A spell without parallel. Ultima. Oh, the namesake. Of course. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now beating heart. And what would you need that kind of power for? Lahabria, what have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Oh. Okay, looking to resurrect a god. The hour is at hand. Behold but a sliver of my god's power. This probably isn't good. of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens the world shall tremble unleash oh. Ultima that crystal was reacting that's gonna save me right whoa um oh shit powerful enough to destroy all the ships around it too <sighs> how can I have survived that I guess the power of the crystal really is that strong Oh, that looks like that dome shield that Louis Soir did at the beginning. At the beginning, at the opening movie. He had that power too? <laughs> Such devastation. This was not my intention. Oh, Heidelin. It seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. It took all of her power just to do that? Van Belsar, your enemy's shield is broken. I'm assuming yours is too. Not the rest about it. I leave to you. We will speak later, Asian. I somehow don't think you will. But first, I must...
must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. Come, adventurer. Let us find the answer together. What the hell was that orb of light that I kept that I kept zooming across the screen? I don't know what that was. Okay. Do I still have this? Okay, I just do I do still have it. Let's go. We settle this once and for all. Well, you can try. Oh, you're all the way back up in health too, I just realized. Man. Ow. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. I guess I could should uh use some kind of damage mitigation against that. I just need to remember which attack that was. Oh, okay, so apparently you can't avoid this, at least. Ow. Um, do we need to avoid this as well? Let me actually, well, I guess not. Wasn't as damaging as I thought it would be. And now I probably don't have the, uh, that of active for the next big attack he does. Etheric boom? Is it just a pushback? Do I target these other things? Um, apparently not. I don't know what that was. Laser focus. Oh, shoot! Oh, sorry guys. I didn't realize. Now what are you doing? Citadel Buster? Huh. Can't even tell which attacks you're using. Oh, avoid that, please. Oh, interesting. Oh, avoid those. A wrong attack. I want to use this. This is most unexpected. You are possessed of great might. This I will not allow. Yet yours is not the might of a ruler. Such is the difference between us. A difference that will assure my victory. Uh-oh. I guess we gotta team up for this one. Ooh, whoa! Are those airships that just crashed into this right here? Ow! Apparently wasn't supposed to stand in front of that. Oh, get away from these. Ooh! Get some health back. Oh, shoot, he was using another air, uh, attack to, that had to be put together. Yeah, that thingy. Have a tank purge, which I know doesn't do much damage, so I don't need to mitigate this. Okay, so far so good. Not even halfway. Ooh, that looked fun. Perhaps avoid those. Oh, great, more of those bits. Want those. Good. Oh! Okay, avoid that. Man, a lot of movement we have to do in this fight. Woo! Wrong attack! I need to summon more of those things. I right, reduce damage. I haven't done that in a while. Good, I got help. Ow! So apparently that attack I need to avoid or reduce the damage for. Be ready to avoid the damage for. Yeah, keep attacking me, buddy. I dare you. Okay, more airships coming in. And then... Ow! I keep hit getting hit by the wrong things. Another big hit. Okay, good. At least I can avoid these. Thank you for the health. Don't use this. 
The damage bonus back up. There we go. Owie. So I just need to be ready to actually use my uh, uh, damage reduction abilities whenever I'm about to get hit by something that I can't avoid. I have to remember to do that. Oh, great, more bits. Okay, good. At least I can avoid these. I don't have to move very far for that one. Another Citadel Buster. Probably stay away from that. Woo! Oh, goody, this again. Back to the center. Everyone team up! I haven't done this in a while. You'll tend to me. Thank you. Woo! Big hit. 30%. We're almost there. Woo, it took a while for us to get here. Might have taken less time if I went with an actual uh, team of actual players. Uh-oh. What are you doing now, buddy? Ultima? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ultima, curse you, Asian! How much destruction must be wreaked before you're sated? Apparently, we gotta kill this thing soon! Oh boy, I don't think we're gonna make it. I have not the strength to shield thee again! Um, permit not the manifestation of the vile less magic, lest darkness prevail! Do we actually have to kill this thing before? Oh! Woo! That was a big hit! Okay, 9%, 8%, come on! I got to get my damage mitigation, dam damaging ability back up. Damage bonus ability. Come on! Come on! 4%! 3... 1... Got it! Whew. That was close! What if we have actually died if we didn't get it in time? No. No, no, no. Yeah. <sighs> that was tough. Me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence. And their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Like I said, I don't want to rule. Um, I think he's actually dead. If not, whatever's gonna happen here will probably kill him. Ouch. I mean, that wasn't as big of an explosion as I thought it would be, considering how big ult the other attack was. But we did it! Ultima's no more! Ultima weapon is no more! And we're sorrowful because of it. It did do a crap ton of damage. That makes sense. Well, that's it then! Now to put an end to this entire thing. This entire debacle. Oh, you. Look what you caused, pathetic. I mean, it was your fault, you idiot. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon, the ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. And what brings you down to the ground? 
The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. So you're seeking balance? Huh. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydalin. Why would she be causing it? Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. Now that I'm realizing it, wouldn't this god of yours do the same thing that Hydalin is? Just replace Yet, her? To pave the way for the master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the primals. Are you gonna bring the primals back? Oh boy. Needless to say, both you and your scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. Oh, I think we will. You will not leave this place alive. Like I said, I think we will. <laughs> you gonna try and stop me? I guess you are. Hmm. Oh, and it's just me? Oh. I walk up to you menacingly because I can't beat the crap out of you if I don't. Alright. The ultimate weapon. Let's go. What, you think that's supposed to intimidate me or something? It is past time your flame was extinguished, bringer of light. Well, joke's on you, I have more than just a fire crystal. Alright, time to bring, uh, Van Crypt to his senses. Also, I don't have this active. Probably don't need to. For the sake of the star, I will deal with you personally. The star? What star? Ow! Here, let me get a damage bonus. That'd be a good idea. Um. Oh! Probably want to avoid those. You get a little bit of health back. Oh! Avoid that too. That looked like it might have hurt if I got hit by that. Thankfully, you're stupid. Come on, buddy. Actually, oh. The power of darkness ravages your body. Why is darkness ravaging my body? What happened? Um, no fire, please. Devouring dark. Apparently, if I get hit by something, I am a... Afflicted by something? Let me get a bit of health back. Okay. Woo! Ow! At least stop hurting me. Searing flames cleanse all in the name of the one true god. How about no? a while to take this guy down. Yeesh. My damage bonus back up. I keep forgetting to do that. Ow. Please don't hurt me. How, much, how badly do I need to... Okay. I'm not doing very good at this. Well, you missed. Those tainted by light cannot be suffered to live. Go forth, my shadows. Oh, please don't summon more stuff. Oh, boy. Whoop. Avoid these. Now, let me reduce damage for a bit. I'm not sure how well that's going to work for me, though. At least to give me a chance to get some better health back. 
Big hit. Bang. Double. Oh, I see what you're doing. Double casting abilities, it's... I see. Ah! Please stop ravaging my body. What? Fires of creation arise. And I just used my vengeance ability. You're not even going to attack me. Do I have to attack these? I guess so. Get a bit of health back, too. Then I gotta remember to get my damage ability, damaging bonus ability back up. There we go. There we go. Also, I haven't done this in a while. That'd be a good idea. Vast amounts of magic. Well, I'm gonna take these down while I can. Please don't. Oh, great. I didn't destroy him quick enough. Um, what's this gonna do? Please don't tell me this is gonna be an instant kill just because I couldn't get all the all the orbs in time. Oh boy. This looks like it's gonna hurt. Oh. It did one-shot me. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. Yours was always a vain struggle. Oh. I was gonna say, is something gonna happen? It is. So apparently that was- I was supposed to be defeated. Surrender not, my child. Look thee to the light. I was trying to press buttons thinking I was supposed to do something, but I guess I just had to wait. And receive the power to banish the darkness. Your fervent hope shines forth the light! Ooh! My aura makes it look like I'm going Super Saiyan. Thankfully, I don't have the gold hairs with it. That you still have the strength to interfere. Damn you, Hydaelyn! Well, guess what? Your turn now! No matter. Blessing or no, you imperfect beings cannot hope to defeat me. Oh, it looks like I'm beating you, though. Doing much better than before. I'm actually hurting you. Big hit. You do this, too. Time to go berserk. Time to get angry. Ow. You withstood the darkness? Impossible. Try me! Come on! Oh, probably want to avoid those. Come here. I said come here. Thank you. Whoop. Oh, I still got hit by it. Darn it! I tried. Something else gonna happen? No? Hey, come to the center form. You are? You will? Could you? You are strong. I concede. I don't think you do. Yet know that if I should I perish, you too will be immortal. Uh, the mortal within the, those flesh shall reside. I don't think I read that correctly. Mark not the dark minion's subtle words. Only life may banish the darkness. I'm not paying attention to my own attacks. Dang it. Look, avoid that. Oh, I see what. Yeah. Ha ha! I gotcha! Big hit. Woo! Avoid those. Where are you going? Come here. Now come here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I guess not. Big hit. Oh, avoid that. Apparently that puts me close enough to actually hit him still. Ow! I still got hit by that. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Oop, avoid that. And that. Still got some hits in. Woo! Haha, <laughs> you missed with all of them. Oh, boy. 
You missed me with everything. You are not very good at this. Apparently, neither am I. Oh, yeah. Then I got to get my damaging ability back up. There we go. Also, I haven't done this again in a while. Oh, where am I going? Ah, man. Still got hit. Use the wrong attack. I want to use this. Nope. Back in there. There we go. Get damaging it back up. There we go. I mean, it didn't lose it. I just wanted to keep it up longer. Almost got you. I can do this. Down to less than 10%. Almost got you. Ow. Ow. And ow. This should be it. Big hit. Gotcha. Whew. Why did it take so long? I banish you to the... I was going to say the Shadow Realm, but he'd probably want to be there. The Realm of Light! Oh, except I instead banish you to... Hydaelyn. If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light. Or maybe an axe? Or maybe an axe! <laughs> oh, wait! Wait a minute, this is showing exactly what happened last in the beginning of this game. I don't think we actually got him. Well, I guess we just cleansed. What? Yeah, we guess we just cleansed him of uh, cleansed a lot. Yeah, cleanse fan credit of him. I kept thinking of the wrong names. Time for you to get your comeuppance, I think. Aw, the power of friendship. <laughs> Go get him, everybody! Time for an all-out attack! And that was your downfall. You did not have the power of friendship. Good night. And good riddance. You okay there, Thancred? Oh yeah, that's right. He was like possessing a necklace or something, wasn't he? Uh yeah, we got to go. This place is going to disintegrate. I mean, it looks badass and all, but we kind of have to not be here anymore. <gasps> Maggie? Holy shit, you're back! And you're acting on your own again. Nice save, Maggie. Wow. I was thinking we were actually going to be stuck leaving, her, leaving it behind. But no, it's actually going to help us escape. Uh, 
faster, please, though? Oh, right. He's still there. I thought he was dead, though. And so my conquest ends, Sid. In smoke and ashes. Looks like your summer vacation's over. Must go faster, must go faster, must go faster! Come on, Maggie, go, go, go! Here. Feel. Think. Oh man, does that mean I not did not outlast the fire? Warrior of light. Beloved son. The darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Hold on, I just realized, did you call me your son? Yet it lingereth still beyond the sight of men in forgotten corners of the world. In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the dark one, watchful ever. Till this evil be cast out, never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. Oh. Yet for the present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. With thee at its heart. Oh, does that mean I went From sparkling moat? Shall it swell to glorious sun, and all the world shall bask in its warmth. Hey, where are you going? Or am I being pushed away? I can't tell. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. All of them? Oh, boy. My lady. All twin adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Admiral, all hands accounted for. Well, they survived. That's good. He's still in there. Sid, has there been no word? Nothing. Nothing at all. Makes sense, because I'm a silent character. Damnation! He's going to make it. I know he is. Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? That adventurer and the Scions are as the Warriors of Light reborn. Oh, so you know about it. Wait, what? We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. I wholeheartedly agree. But flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, reach out to them now. There! Where? Oh, here. Oh! Come on, come on! And epic, your epic landing! Yeah! Yay! Our warrior of light. 
Yes, the hero returns. With... Look, Banquet is with him. I was just about to say that. Thank the twelve. <laughs> Thank Hydalin. Welcome home. I did it. I saved the realm. Not not the entire world yet. I don't think. Just this area. You almost got us killed that one time, remember? Now, now. We both know that was your fault. <laughs> Thank the Twelve, we're safe. Oh, okay, so this mind is actually the end. There, man -ball. <laughs> Mayhap when you mind your manners. Though the crystal that bound Thancred is no more, I doubt we can say the same of La Habrea. And even if we could, we know that he is not alone. Confounded Assians. Their god may be unknown to us, but their zeal is unquestionable. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, what? For now, we must savor what peace we have won, however ephemeral. Do you see, Grandfather? Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life. Now the world leaders come together to say their own piece. I take it. Grant George, I was wondering why Sid sounded familiar. He's the voice of the Warrior of Light. Friends, the dread night of Imperial tyranny and Asian machination is ended. A new day now begins in Eorzea. True to their name, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, along with our champion, have delivered us from darkness. Let their shared victory serve to remind us of our shared history. And let their bravery in the face of adversity inspire future generations. Doubt not, the realm will need bravery in the days to come. Old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls, while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates. Right. And though the Black Wolf be slain, the rest of the pack remains. Yet oh, yeah. no foe need we fear, so long as we stand as one. So long as the Scions stand for peace. So long as our champion stands fast. For there exists no adversity over which we may not jointly prevail. No longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. No nation stands alone. If one should fall, so shall we all. Eorzea is our shared home. For any one of us to know peace, so too must our neighbor. Just as we join in solidarity before you this day, so too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations, but for the good of all the realm. Change will not come overnight. Yet I foresee a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea is one. 
It has been but five short years since the Battle of Cartano. Five years since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrows. No triumph can reclaim those we lost. Yet do not presume you honor them by dwelling on the past. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. The future united as the warriors of light united in the champion. Now is the time for us to rise as one, bearing all of Eorzea on our shoulders. Five years ago, Eorzea bore witness to the end of the Sixth Astral Era. Now, the Seventh Umbral Era draws to a close, yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. Time for the big vow. All for one and one for all. Oh. And on this day, by, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The seventh astral era is come. And thus is ours a realm reborn. They said the thing. Ooh. We did it! Man, that was awesome. Man, this whole thing has just been uh, just plain awesome. I love this game so much. Oh. Now for a full end credits. Man. What the heck? What a one one big roller coaster, wasn't it? Wow. Not really sure exactly what to say now, since the credits are rolling. Now that now that the credits are rolling. And thinking back on things now, yeah. The fact that I was concerned about the fact that Heidelin called me son, I realizing is kind of moot because they refer to it as the mother crystal. So everyone would refer to it as their mother, I guess. Or she would refer to everything as their children, or her children, I guess. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so I don't know why I was so riled up about that part. I guess I just let the credits roll. Not Again, not entirely sure what else to say right now. Ooh, all right. That's the opening, the music that played at the opening. I don't know if that's going to be copyright claimed or not. I hope it doesn't. It didn't when I first watched it, so that should be okay. I was looking at those credits, actually. The voice credits? I didn't realize Louis Swa had an actual voice role in this. That it was voiced by David Lodge? When was he... I don't remember exactly when he had a voice a voice line. When was that? Was it in a... Um... Oh, it might have been during a flashback. I legitimately don't... It would have had to have been, now that I think about it. But I don't... I legit don't remember when that took place. I guess, while I'm, I guess while I'm sitting here, I'll try to think of exactly what to do now so that the main story's done. Or at least the main story for the original re uh, revamping of this game. Um, let's see. I still have another hour. I've got a couple of things I could do. Oh, I'm realizing that uh, there is actually an event going on. A seasonal event. It's for Easter. And I'm also realizing these last few weeks I've been playing this, there was another event that they had that I completely missed out on. I re uh, realized it probably would have been... It would have offset the pace that I was going at if I did do it, uh, though. So it might have been a good thing that it didn't do it. I'm not sure. It was something called Little Ladies Day, I think. Ooh. Then the music swells. <laughs> There's a lot of other things I could do as well. I, I could do the season... I think I'll do the seasonal event first to get that, to get that done. And there's also 
the new warrior class quest that I can do now, which I just, which I saw earlier. Is that Odin? I never encountered Odin at all in this. I wonder where the heck he was. I also know that I eventually want to get back into crafting and gathering because I actually like that part. And I really want to get back into it. I haven't been able to with the pace that this has been going. I'm definitely going to do that as well. Probably wait until the next stream to... Uh, I'm going to wait until the next stream to start that up at least. So I guess for now, just after this, it would be the seasonal event and then the warrior class quest. And then... I'm realizing that there are some uh, older lower level quests that I haven't done in Lower Lino in Lenosha specifically. So I can tackle those as well just to clean... Uh, just to like for cleanup work. And a lot of people worked on this game. I mean, it makes sense. It's a massive game. That's still going. And it's gonna take me a long time to actually catch up to where the current the game currently is in terms of its patches. So it's just just finished up the 6.0 at this point and is in now into 6.1. It's gonna take me a long time to even reach that point. Because I don't think I'm even up to reaching f the 3.0 content yet. Because there's still a bunch of patches from between the initial release and that point. So it's going to take a while for me to get there too. I'm excited to see where it leads though. Oh yeah, Koji Fox. I remember seeing a um, a documentary about how this game even came to being, and I remember that he was one of the people they interviewed for it. That was great insight into how this game was made. I loved watching it. I don't remember if I actually saw the third part of it, now that I think about it. Might need to go back and watch that. Hey, I remember you. You were the first... Uh... Primal I had to fight. The fact that there was a dark in a, a solar eclipse during that fight too was really interesting. I wonder why his power would have caused a solar eclipse. He's not a god of a moon, not a god of the moon. He's a god of fire, or not a god of fire, an aspect of fire, I guess would make sense. Also, I'm just rea realizing it showed Titan much earlier than these other two primals. That's weird. Considering that Ifrit was the first one we fought, but it showed Titan first? I don't know why that was the case. Oh! <laughs> I was wondering what she was looking at, this ladybug on her finger. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to bring that up at this point. Oh, the song is longer than the original. It would have stopped at this point, wouldn't it? No, this is where the uh, Bahamas final attack took place in the original song. Ah, so this is the end. <laughs> I was going to ask, what's it going to play next? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Let's see. Ah, okay. I don't know what this track is called. I just, rem I just recognize it. <laughs> Where did I recognize it from, though? It wasn't a battle theme, was it? I know it played during some cutscenes. Maybe it was a battle theme. I just don't remember what it was against that, we've, that I heard it. Ah, Biggs and Wedge. Lovable goofs that they are. <laughs> I 
Why does this music sound like it was composed by Yoko Shimomura? It just has that vibe to it for some reason. Did it just play a rendition of the prelude there? It sounded like it. Maybe it's just playing a rendition of the actual game theme. That might have been it, too. Oh no, I feel like a jerk. I don't remember what his actual name was. No, it was Badaran, right? Yeah, I think his name was Badaran. Oh, it's playing a rendition of that music now? Hmm. <laughs> sorry, I don't, don't, know, don't know why I reacted to seeing her by laughing. I'm not sure why I did that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at royalty. Ah, good old Sid. Always coming through in the end. And now it's playing the prelude. I must have been thinking of something else from that it was playing before. Apparently, there's a lot more to these credits if they're running out of things to show that are special. And it's just showing up seaside with a bunch of monsters. I guess it's really just showing the different locations you visit. Yeah, just be feel, make you feel reminiscent about the different places you've been to. This was at... Um, yeah, this was in... Not Northern Lenosha, it was Outer Lenosha. No, wait. No, it is Northern Lenosha I'm thinking of. Outer Lenosha I haven't been to yet. Despite the fact that it was apparently a place I could visit at this point? The story didn't bring me at, at all to that place. That's odd. I wonder why that's the case. Can't tell if the credits are coming to an end or not. They're still showing a bunch of stuff. And they just started with Square Enix North America. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure that when I eventually uh, bring this to YouTube, I'm going to actually uh, sl uh, slice it so that you can just skip past this part. I'm just now realizing, out of the nearly 30 sessions I've had playing this game, not once have I mentioned this, all of the all of the times that I've been playing this game, all of the times that I've been streaming playing this game, I have uh, saved and archived onto my own YouTube channel, which is of the same name that is, as this Twitch channel. So if there's any part of this that you missed that you would like to go back to and watch, it is up there. That also does include all of the, um, uh, all the technical hiccups, especially from the start of this series, because it was the first time I'd ever streamed as well. <laughs> so it's gonna include all that. I haven't sliced down anything. It's all up there. Which means that when I put it to YouTube, this is also going to be here. But I'm just going to cut it up so that you can actually skip past this part. If you so desire. Oh, that's, um... That's... No, that's... What place was that? Was that place actually called The Feast? No. The Feast is something you could do while there. That place wasn't called The Feast. I don't remember what it was called. Shoot. Shows how much I know. I've only been there once in order to see the PvP stuff and get a preview of it. And now it's going to Square Enix Europe. Oh boy. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just realizing that temple in the background. Does that mean this place is Karn? The sunken temple of Karn? Because I remember I recognize those statues as one of the bosses at the end. And this must be Stone Vigil. Yeah, I'm remembering now. I'm, rem I'm remembering some of these places at least. I haven't been pointing any of them out until now. Because I've been focusing on other things, or saying other things as well. This place is... I don't recognize this place. This is a dungeon, isn't it? Oh, I think this is, um... Wait, this isn't the first dungeon I've been to, was it? This looks very much... It looks very reminiscent of the end. And this is, um... I was about to say Summerford Farms, but this is not Summerford Farms. This is the... Near the Red Rooster's Stead? Is that what it's called? Trying to remember names is difficult when there's no... When there's no nameplate telling you what it is. Oh, and the kobolds again. Screw you guys. <laughs> Although I probably shouldn't say that. I don't know if something else in later is going to help make us friends or something. I should never say that. But I can say it to the enemies like uh, Livius. Uh, Livia? Livia. Livia was the name. Screw her! <laughs> Okay, I think this was... Yeah, this was Bray Fox's long stop. I remember this one. I've only been there once, but I remember it. It's... it's those buildings are very iconic for that air, for that particular dungeon. This, however, I don't recognize. Where in the world is this? Unless... Could this be Mordona? I think there was an area I went to that was covered in crystals that looked similar to this. But I don't remember if that was Mordona or not. And I think this would be... Brent Bench Meadows. That's what it was. Just trying to remember its name. Unless... Wait, there's a building back there. There's a large building. I don't think that is... Oh, that was the... Oh, that was the Mikado Amphitheater. I recognize that now. That was in Gridania. This I don't recognize. Was this something I didn't unlock yet that I could have done? <laughs> That's very possible. I missed a lot of stuff to unlock, which is something I'm definitely going to do now that this main story is done. I'm going to go around and see what I can unlock for other things that I missed out on. This looks familiar. Is this the... Oh, this must be the outskirts of, um... Drybone. Camp Drybone? Yeah. Although, that's a giant crystal for Camp Drybone. I don't think that was the case. That's costed also. I recognize that immediately, though. Eesh, credits are still going. I have a lot of people to thank. This must be all the different... Yeah, these must be all the different... Um, development programs that they used for this. Hello, Gubo. Where'd you come from? This would be like... Is this that jungle area... In western Lenosha, right? Is it called? No, Eastern. I'm thinking Eastern Lenosha. God damn it. Ah, and there is everyone. I'm just now realizing Biggs, Wedge, and Tataru weren't part of the people that attacked at the end. There's just everyone else here. And hold on. Um, there's a twin here that's missing. Alice, right? Why wasn't she there? We saw her at the, we saw her towards the beginning of the game, but it was all Alpha Nod that we uh, were interacting with. I wonder where Alice Say is. And it looks like that's it for all the images they wanted to show off. It looks like we're getting the end, of, reaching the end of the credits. Then, maybe. FM sounds, music creation. It's all about music mixing at this point. CG CG studio. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense it would be a 3D designing place. <laughs> <sighs> well, 
Running out of things to say so quickly that I'm just mentioning all the stuff that I'm seeing on camera. That is, uh, on screen, that is not good. I mean, on my part, because that means I'm not being, I'm not entertaining enough. No! Well, I never really was intending to be. Well, I shouldn't say I was never intending to be entertaining. It's just difficult for me because I've never tried. I guess. Never tried to be entertaining before outside of when I was attending, uh, high school drama classes. But even then, that was, my god, that was years ago. How long ago was that? That was, yeah, definitely over ten... How long ago was that exactly? Graduated in... Yeah, it was 2008 that I graduated. Nearly 15 years at this point. Wow. Canada type! <laughs> I don't know why I just shouted that out. I'm not sure. Simply gone. As supposed to a poor regard or an om nom nom again. And Yoshitaka Amano, series designer. What? Oh. Meteor survivors? Oh. Oh, it's showing the name of every player that was participating in the game from the, its early days? Oh, wow. That is a lot of people. If it has to go through the entire alphabet like this. Wow. Oh, man, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that would be a lot of people, I mean. Dang. Was this actually just everyone that participated in the game at that time? Or was it just people that were there at the... When the game eventually transitioned over? Interesting. There are some people that only have one name as opposed to two names. I wonder how people did that. How did they manage to get only one name as opposed to a, a first name and a surname? Surname and last name. I think those are the right terms. Dang. I know I'm not I know I'm not on here. It would be it would be under here, but no, I didn't play the game that long. <laughs> I only just started this past year. A lot of people. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking up too much time now. Oh. Oh, I can fast forward that way too. Can I go faster? I can go faster! How faster? Oh, just four times? Okay. Slow down for the end here. A lot of people with a Z in their name. And that's it! So many people. And special thanks? Ah. Hmm. Oh, for Sony Computer Entertainment. Those, those must have been the people that ported the game to the PS4 and PS5. Actually, this was released as, along with the PS3 as well. I remember that. Yeah. NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, Imagica, Microsoft Japan. Ooh. Oh, that's right. They did port it to the... Was it the 360 or the... I don't remember which one that was that they ported it to. It wouldn't have been the 360. It wouldn't have been... I don't think it would have been powerful enough. What was the system they released after that? It wasn't the X... No, it wasn't the Xbox One. I actually don't. <laughs> I don't keep track of Microsoft enough to know which consoles came where came when. I just know that the original Xbox was first, and then it came, and then it was the 360. That's all I remember. That's it. 
Oh, there's more. Oh, celebrating the victory well, uh, well fought. Well won. Maybe this, I have no idea which term is correct. I get a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Oh. I spoke too soon. Or maybe just run, right? Oh, wait, people are disappearing. What happens? What's happening? What is happening? I don't think that's Heidelin. No, that's not Heidelin. I wonder if that's the god that Lahabre was referring to. A glimpse of the future! What Maybe. is it? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Oh. What was that? Except it is something. That roar. It can't be. Did you hear that? There's no time to spare. No time Where to spare. Where is it coming from? No time to spare for what? What's coming? Dread tidings, chaos, and carnage. Brought by what? It is an abomination! A primal! A primal has awakened! Another primal? Already? Who summoned it? Who or what, I should say. Is that you, Lahabrea? What stupid shenanigans are you up to this time? Where are you, anyway? Kaas Bahamut move. Bahamut stirs. So the- wait. One Azaz move star. As will the others ere long. Tis not a question of whether Eorzea's champion shall yield, but of when. We next starve Chemuv, the only cause that pours right ball. And with each passing moment, we draw closer to the reckoning. How many of them are there? I'm the post. To the one true God. To Zodiac. Zodiac? From Final Fantasy XII, Zodiac? That's your god? Really? Unless Zodiac is the name of the other crystal. And thus did dawn break on a realm reborn. Ooh. But where there is light, there is always shadow. They need to be kept in balance. Oh! Right back at the Waking Sands? Alright. Oh, this is for the for the end of this actual quest. Hey, guys! <laughs> Seems like a closely clap for me. That's nice. Thanks. We can talk to these guys. Ehrenfeld? One day I hope to become a hero to the people like you. A hero like Abba and Auli were, uh, Auli were to me. Biggs? Oh, sorry guys. Watching you live the life of a free adventurer has helped me realize that I can't keep putting off my dreams forever. I've been talking with Wedge about opening a workshop, independent of Garland Eyeworks. Maybe in Villebrand? I don't know. 
working with the chief is great and all, but someday I want to build my own enterprise, you know? <laughs> Wedge, you're an inspiration to us all, Dexter, an honest-to-God's hero that never gives up, never gives in, never surrenders. And neither will I. I will win Tartarus' heart. See if I don't. <laughs> oh, you simp. Okay, Sid! I think we could all do with a good rest, don't you? I know I could. I still haven't had time to think about everything that's happened. About Nero and Gaius. Iliad? We, uh, we held a vigil at the church until word came of your success. I cannot express to you how relieved I am by your safe return, Dexter. Hey. A bunch of other people. A bunch of other people I haven't interacted with before, but apparently I could have. By the gods, to think that this ragtag band of idealists could lay the... That is the 16th, right? Lay the 16th low. It is a tale straight from a storybook. Well, that's 14. That's not number 14. What am I thinking of? I imagine my former associates would find a, uh, would find it most appealing. After all, what young, uh, young ruffian hasn't had a, hasn't at one point fancied himself a hero in the making? Aye, I think I may bring more than a few recruits back with me from the Twelves would. Now for these three. Oh, I, I think I remember this, seeing these three around here before. I reckon a lot more folk will take up adventuring after hearing about what you've done. Brave men and women all hoping to become the next Dexter Gravel. Oh, please don't look up to me. I'm not a good role model. <laughs> I know I told you to become a storied personage I could brag about and haven't met, but I never thought you'd go so far as to oblige me. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Oh, Brennan, that was the, this was the guy that I met at the, at the very beginning, the guy in the cart with me. Oh, so these three guys must be the people you meet at, in, uh, when you, uh, start at the prospective cities. So Brennan was mine for, um, the Maelstrom, or for, uh, Limsa Lominsa. That means, I guess, Brent here was for, uh, probably Ulda, and then Bredmont here was for Gridania? I think that's how it works. Nice! And lastly, Vermont. <laughs> You've come a long way since I first saw you running around the Waken Sands. <laughs> okay, so you guys have been keeping tabs on me, tabs on me this whole time. Oh, so... Ah, so it's programmed to actually have them start clapping as soon as I get close to them. Okay. And lastly... Oh, not lastly. Just the Scions. Hey, thank Red, you're okay. Let's go talk to these people. Ida? <laughs> we all decided to give you a special surprise welcome, just like the ones in Heroic Epics. Your story took many twists and turns, but you managed to get to the happy ending. Let's hope for more happy endings to come. Let's hope so. Papalimo? So a new era has begun. On such a momentous occasion, I find it good for the soul to tie up loose ends. Hmm? What would I suggest you do? Why the same thing you always do after accomplishing a task? Report to Minfilia. It ends here, uh, it ends where it begins, my friend. Dan Cred? I realize I have been the cause of tremendous cons uh, consultation, and for that I deeply apologize. Ah, uh, but you haven't time to waste chatting with me. Minfilia is expecting you. Yes, yes, but she can wait. I want to talk to people first. Orianche? The land my master sheltered from obliv oblivion hath been delivered unto a new beginning by the hand of the Warrior of Light. Thus doth history mark the passing of an era. The dawn doth brighten the sky, and shineth o'er is this nascent age of hope. And though the clouds gather to mute the sun's rising glory, I will walk far with thee and under its gentle glow. And lastly, Ishtola. Welcome back, warrior of light. We, all of us, prayed for your safe return. The seventh astral era has dawned, setting in motion a myriad of new beginnings. I suspect our paths will diverge for a time. Have you said your farewells to the Scions? Uh, no. We're saying goodbye already? What? Why? What for? Alright, last up. Talk to Goldman. Uh, time to go talk to Nephilia. Oh, and of course Alphano. I almost forgot he was here. <laughs> I almost forgot. Where men go as one, life is. Uh, there is life. And when there is life, there is cause to hope. The light of hope shines brilliantly within you, Dexter. I only wish my grandfather were here to see it. And lastly, to wrap up this entire mission, this entire story, Minfilia.
the Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. Their findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the ether, a pattern observed only once before in history. Five years ago, to be precise. I should like to think it mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount that possibility. Well, I trust I need say no more. At great sacrifice, we have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals, and thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on how on I know not how many occasions, yet your struggle continues, and we need you now less than before. Wait, what? Yet our struggle continues, and we need you now no less than before. That's what it was. Please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm of this very star. Ooh! Completion rewards. Armor identification key. A thin rectangular piece of what appears to be a Kermit. Or is it Sermat? I can't remember. Placing it near your suit of Magitek armor will magically bring the machine to life. What? What Magitek armor? I got Magitek armor? Is that Maggie? Ooh. That would be... Oh. Do I actually get Maggie as a mount? Dude, that's awesome! <laughs> that's cool! And what is this other one? Fantasia. Legend states that any who drink this uh, mysterious liquid before lying down before the evening will awaken a new man or woman. Grants you a single opportunity to edit your appearance in the character creation screen upon your next login. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to use this. I'm pretty comfortable with my current appearance. Unless I somehow manage to find more than I, I would want to use it, not to let it go to waste. Cool. Alright. Quest complete! I completely forgot that we had to get completion rewards for actually doing that. Flying unlocked! You can now fly while mounted in Lenosha, Thanalan, and the Black, Sh uh, Black Shroud, Corthus Central Highlands, and Mordona. To take flight, simply jump while mounted. That's how you unlock flying! Cool! Mount speed in the mist. Hmm. Mount speed in lavender beds? Oh, those are supposed to be the residential areas. Yeah, the goblet. Flying mounts. You have gained the ability to take flight. Summon forth a flying mount and try jumping to take off. Flying consists of three basic maneuvers. Advancing with the stick, ascending with the triangle button, and descending with the L and R button. L and R at the same time? Hmm. I wonder if I could change that. So... Um, I guess at this point, it's just cleanup work for everything else I wanted to do until we actually start up the, until I'm actually sufficiently up to the point where I can, can want to continue with the story. So, I'm actually going to, what do I want to do, actually? Um, I want to head back to Limsa Lominsa. Because I, ac I actually don't know where the seasonal event is actually taking place. Maybe look that up for a moment. Give me a moment and I will look it up. Opening the lodestone. Hatching Tide, that's what it's called. The Hatching Tide. It's in Gridania. Darn it! I went to the wrong spot! Okay, off to Gridania. Uh, off to the airship landing so I can just uh, go there from here without having to spend gill. I can do that. Or spending too much gill, I should say. Off to Gridania! Man, it's weird now that the main story is actually complete. Now there's that now I'm pretty much open to whatever I want to do until I decide to talk him into Philia again. So I get yeah, like I said, I guess at this point it's just gonna be cleanup work. So it's gonna be um additional quests that I missed out on, early level early game quests that I missed out on from earlier areas in the game. Uh doing this event quest, tackling the next warrior class quest, because I can do that now, unlocking more to do with the crafting and gathering. As well as also unlocking other potential other combat classes, because I haven't done that in a long time. I'm thinking going forward that if I do want to tackle early game qu uh, other quests in these other areas, that I'm going to use the use new classes I unlocked to do them. So, for instance, I guess at this point, 
anything else to do with Lenosha in terms of side quests, I'll do as a rogue because that's the other class that I unlocked there. Either that or the um, either that or the summoner or scholar, since those are originated there as well. So, I guess for Gridania, that would be the Lancer Conjurer or the Archer, which I've yet to unlock. And then for Ulda, I haven't unlocked anything there, so it'd have to be pretty much everything there. And what is this? Sundry Splendors. What is this? Welcome to Sundry Splendors. In this one-stop shop, a subsidiary of Rowena's House of Splendors, practically every weapon, piece of armor, or helpful item that can be purchased in exchange for Alagan tombstones and similar tokens has been gathered in a single convenient location. Take a moment and browse the merchandise. Ooh, all right. So I can purchase new stuff. Primal weapons? Primal gear. Ooh. Hmm. Tidal wave stuff? Tidal wave stuff. Shiva's diamond brand? Oh, we fight Shiva at some point, of course. Tidal wave. That'd be for Leviathan then, wouldn't it? Whoops. Didn't mean to close out of that. What else do we have? Geralt's master... Oh! Oh, this is item... Oh, this is for higher item level stuff as well. Oh, interesting how it also marks that the shield goes with the... Uh, that's a sword. Awesome. That's all... I mean, it's all level 50 stuff. It is stuff I can't equip. So if I wanted to, I could get this stuff. I have... Actually, I have 650 to of these uh, tome stones, right? That's what they're called? Alagan tome stones? I can use those to purchase one of these if I wanted to. What else do we have here? Ooh. Augmented Ironworks weapons. Ooh. Oh, and armor! Hmm. This is definitely something I'll have to look into. But not right now. I actually want to uh, continue with the... Uh, Seasonal quest, which is actually in... Oh, it was, oh, it was over by the amphitheater, I think. Let's head there. We just head this way. Run! Man, I haven't sprinted in a long time. <laughs> Feels weird now. It's been over two weeks since I've used to sprint. It's nuts. Okay, through here. I'm now realizing I could have just taken the ethernet. I'm constantly forgetting even basic stuff. Also, I'm not even in the right place, am I? Yeah, the amphitheater is actually... Oh. Well, the, the amphitheater is actually a little further west, but I can just do it this way. I'm just being an idiot. Don't worry about me. Okay, now for this seasonal quest. I'm sorry, what? Courteous Collector. Good evening, friend. Might you be interested in learning about the Hatching Tide festivities? Oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. A fledgling festival, Hatch tide, uh, Hatching Tide, was born of a prophetic dream visited upon a Gridanian maiden named Jili Aliapo. Right? Jili Aliapo? Yeah. In her dream, the twelve Archons of old appeared, those heroes who saved the realm from the destruction of the Sixth Thumbrel Calamity. Descending from the heavens atop beautifully cut decorated eggs, this said to Jili... Arise, young dreamer, and make ready the vessels for our return. And so she did, painstakingly painting and gilding eggs to match those from her vision. Word of the prophecy spread, and Geely attracted uh, helpers to assist in her toils. After the calamity, the festival grew further, as townsfolk and adventurers flocked to celebrate the Archons of Yore, who many believe had some hand in delivering the realm once again. Huh. Okay. So it had to do with a vision that someone had of the Archons coming, of the uh, Twelve coming back? Hmm. Ah, you're, you're a Geely. Hippity hoppity happily. Geely uh, Aliapo is uh, simply dying to talk to an adventurer, preferably you, about eggs. I remember the design of those enemies. Those are from Final Fantasy XII. Little rabbit enemies. Can I get a hatching bunny? Oh, it's a minion. All right, let's see what this is about. A happy hatching tide to you, friend. Are the exquisite decorations you see about you to your liking? <laughs> ah, but where are my manners? My name is Geely Aliapo, and I oversee the centerpiece of the celebration, the gloriously extravagant egg hunt. You're an adventurer, are you not? 
If you wouldn't be too bold, of, if it wouldn't be too bold of me, might I ask your name? Well, you see, my name here is Dexter. What a lovely and festive ring that has to it. But where was I? Ah, yes, the egg hunt. Tradi the tradition began several years ago after I was blessed with a vision by the twelve archons of ages past. As it happens, I was visited by a most curious dream again this year. In it, brave adventurers, not unlike yourself, were doing it, were going about town, handing about decorative eggs in the company of chickens and odd-looking rabbits. Truth be told, I've struggled to grasp its true meaning. Still, if the past is any guide, the best way to get to the bottom of this is for us to recreate the image from my dream and see what good fortune may, it may bring. To that end, I've, invent, I've invited Master Paulin, uh, Limson Lamitza's preeminent chicken farmer, and his flock here to Gredania, and furthermore placed an order for a full fluffle of rabbit-esque mammoths resemb uh, resembling the ones from my dream. We have, however, hit a bit of a snag. It would appear the hens have not yet gotten acclimated to their new environment, and they've been raising quite the ruckus, making it nigh impossible to retrieve the eggs they've laid. Might you be willing to lend a hand? That sounds exciting. Yeah! Now that's a man after my own heart. You'll be compensated handsomely in spectacular afterwards, of course. Or rewards, of course. That one perhaps needs some work. In any case, Master Pollen's chickens are being cooped up at the, gr uh, the Great Lone Growery. Might I ask you to travel there and give them a look? My friend Nodota works there as well, so I would be most grateful if you would also ensure that she's not overly harried. Okay. Seasonal event quest accepted! Speak with Nodota. Nodota is to the west. How far west? Nope, I went through this. There we go. Thankfully not far, because the glory is right here. Let's see, where art thou? That's- oh wait, nope, you're further west than this. I for some reason thought you were here. Nope, you're- oh, over by the botanist guild. The Great Long Growery is over by the botanist guild, I keep forgetting that. Now, let's see, where are you? Further east. You're pretty much over by the etherite. I probably should have just gone, just done, got, just gone and done that. Oh well, I'm here now. Um, Nodata, are you okay? Are the chickens get that bad? Is there something you need? Pray forgive me. I'm feeling terribly exhausted at the moment. Well, you apparently are good enough to do puns. Geely sent you to help. Well, that is most appreciated. In that case, allow me to explain. While it's true that we've been having trouble rounding up all the eggs, we also face a more pressing concern. The Grari has been invaded by bizarre fluffy creatures. Why is it playing such ominous music for it? <laughs> What's more, they're not content just to run around and make mischief. Why, they're tormenting the chickens and trying to steal the eggs from themselves. Needless to say, that has only driven the chickens into even more of a tizzy. It's been a veritable battlefield. Master Pollen is doing all he can to keep the creatures contained, but even he seems just about at its wit's end. I'm also not good at just screaming like that. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, uh. <laughs> Master Pollen, has our last line of defense been breached? Oh, the poor man. Okay. E cats! That's one of them! Our fearsome invaders from the gods knows where! Good heavens! They both look as if they're look as if they're about out for blood! Whatever are we to do? And even me talking stop uh, even me being able to not speak properly added to it. Um <laughs> Let me try to calm them down. Don't look at me, or I think we can solve this by force. Um, let me see if I can calm them down. I can try, at least. Such bravery. Not that I expected any less from you. In that case, good luck out there. And remember, close observation of both parties is the key to a successful mediation. Mediation? What exactly do I have to do? I didn't even think about that. 
Drawing upon your extensive experience in confronting myriad savage beasts, you gaze upon the two bloodthirsty creatures intently, taking in their every move and facial expression. Not much of a facial expression on a chicken, but on this creature, maybe. This other creature? Oh, except it doesn't have much of a face either. The chicken and the bunny stand at odds, neither willing to give an ilm in their grudge match. Or so you assess the situation. How fascinating. The chicken is understandably on its guard, fearing that the rabbit is targeting its eggs. But could it be that the bunny too harbors some resentments of its own? Maybe. Don't know what that is. Looks like we're gonna figure it out. Now that I think about it, this creature bears a most uncanny resemblance to the rabbit Geely described in her dream. I did some research of my own before you arrived. According to the tomes, it is so rare a creature that many consider it simply a myth. Have you had any chance? Have you, by chance, contacted any similar, uh, anything similar during your travels? Honestly, no. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Why is it giving me the option of now that you mention it? I'm pretty sure I haven't seen these before. So I'll say never seen anything like it. I guess it really is just that rare. I see. Hardly a surprise that. After all, very few have ever actually seen one in the flesh. Oh, incidentally, those most unique creatures are known in certain parts as happy bunnies. There's something about their long ears, fluffy tails, and hippity hoppity manner that brings a smile to one's face, yes? Why, legend has it that simply encountering one is a sure sign that good fortune is headed your way. While they're not precisely the same creature, perhaps our most unique guests will also have a similarly auspicious effect on us. Perhaps we can try. You there, Mr. Bunny! If you're truly as happy as hard as your compatriots of legend, might you not make some peace with these fine chickens and cooperate with us to make this year's festivities an extravaganza of merriment and good cheer? Uh, I'm not sure if it liked that or not. Oh. But, but, but this won't do. Why, our harbinger of happiness is fleeing from very grasp, and our chicken and our last chicken is running off with it. Something must be done. If Geely's dreams are to be trusted, and I've never known them to be anything but, those bunnies and their unique power are the key to making this year's Hatching Tide festivities a rousing success. I beg of you, friend. Follow those creatures. They may lead you to their fellow escapees. I'll do the same just as soon as I see Mr. Pollen's wound, uh, see to Master Pollen's wounds. I wasn't able to make out where they were headed, but no doubt there was an eyewitness or two nearby. Pray, gather what information you can, and round up uh, the little craters as best you're able. We can rendezvous back in, in town with Geely. This is such a strange turn of events that I have to go running after chickens and rabbits. So let's. So I have to go talk to people, right? Alright, let's see. Is there a crystal nearby there? There is one over by the amphitheater. Alright. Let's go over by this crystal. Make it a little bit quicker. Back over to the amphitheater. I'm honestly not sure how much quicker it is, but oh well. Done it now. Let's see here. Aha! Bewildered botanist is who I talked to here, looks like. Excuse me, have you seen ch a chicken and a rabbit? Well, what? Uh, well, that was a sight if I've ever seen one. Bizarre looking bunnies and chickens racing by me as if possessed. Oh, there's more than one? More than one of each? They were headed over that way, toward New Gridania. I can only hope they don't cause too much of a stir in town. Alright. Actually, back into New Gridania. Where exactly? Can it show me? Okay, so... There is no crystal nearby, unfortunately. So I just have to run. Ah! It's on cooldown! No! No, that's fine. It's almost done. Three, two, one... Oh, and then I just head this way. Yeah. Okay, so where do I talk to people? Over here. 
Serpent Patrolman is who we talk to next. Ah, there's a lot of lag here. Chickens and rabbits. They were headed for the Etheroid Plaza. Go after them if you like. The adders don't pay nearly enough attention pay nearly enough for me to get mixed up in all this. Apparently there's a lot of people in here. There's so much lag. Now who do I talk to here? Oh, I see there's a bright eyed girl I talked to. Have we seen rabbits and chickens? Chickens and rabbits? No, I said rabbit and ch rabbits and chickens. Oh, I saw a whole army of them running off in the, to the Carline Canopy. Uh-oh. Okay, let's go see you at the Carline Canopy. Now, are they going to be all huddled up here or something? Ah, hatching tied help meat. That's kind of terrifying, to be honest. Almost as terrifying as the chicken. <sighs> How did they get around so fast on those tiny legs? I'm not cut out for this. Oh, what's that? They're where now? Good gods. Understood. I'll enlist the services of an able adventurer right away. Matron's teats don't sneak up on me like... Wait a moment. Are you perhaps an adventurer? Maybe. Not out I sent you in search of the bunnies, you say? How fortuitous! That Link Pro call just now was from her, and she's asked me to, uh, with doing the. She's tasked me with doing the very same. Just between you and me, however, I have yet to catch a single one. As I was running after them, their friends started showing up one after the next, and before I knew it, a veritable legion of them had hippity hopped their way into the Twelves Wood. I fear there's far too many of them for the two of us to handle alone. I'll go and call for reinforcements. Could I trouble you to go on ahead to the mirror planks? According to Nanoda, that's where they are last sighted. In the meantime, I will do my best to rally others to our cause. Now go quickly, friend. The fate of this year's hatching tide hangs in the balance. The fate happiness is a warm bunny cannot be completed as a disciple of war or magic. Hmm. Okay, so there's a new fate that I can deal with. But let's go see where that fate is. And what level it is to see which class I should do this as, because I don't want to put too many points as the warrior. Let's see. It's not that. Aha! It's all the way down here. And it's a level 15. Unfortunately, it's already being worked on, so I'll just make my way there in the meantime. It's a level 15 quest. So, which one should I do it as? Or all about... A rogue. I'll be a rogue for this one. Oh, so yeah, they changed up the appearance of that of that menu now. Now it can actually show you the item level of the different stuff you have equipped. I thought that was a neat little feature. I just wish it could have actually shown me the actual level of the of the class rather than just the item level. So I could actually tell which ones still need uh, experience, you know? I'm heading... Nope, I have to continue. Hold on. This is the quickest way. This way. So I don't have to go through the river. Instead, I can go over it. Ah, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> and then head south from here. And still continuing. Yeah. Yeah, the fate's already done. I have to wait for the... Nope, it's not done yet. I have to wait for the next one. Hopefully, it's not going to take too long. Oh! Hold up. Yeah, I can fly now! Woo! Hee, I'm here! So I guess we just I guess everyone here is just waiting for the fate to continue. Or to start, I mean. That's weird how it's both L2 and R2 nor uh sorry, L1 and R1 to be able to descend. I'm gonna probably see if I can change that somehow. I probably can. In the meantime, we wait. I shall sit. <laughs> Mr. Bite was just completed, too. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have to wait for it to show up. Or the next one to show up. Hopefully it's not too long. I see people are leaving, though. I guess that means they, they just completed it. Man! I wish you know how long it would have to wait for this to show up. I 
almost wondering if there's actually something else I could do in the meantime. Oh, wait, I can unlock, I can unlock, um, yeah, I can unlock the leave quest here, so let me actually do that. Uh, go back on, joke of both. And let's go! Let's go see about unlocking the, oh, wait a minute. Did the fade pop up? No, the fade's not back up yet, okay. Why does it keep making me go down? I thought it would keep me at the same elevation. Evidently, I'm too heavy. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. All right, while I wait for that uh, fate to activate, I will... Oh, nope, I need to go back up here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's for active. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's for activating the... Um, the housing areas for this level. For this... Uh, for Gridania. Darn it, that's the wrong thing. Oh, hold on. There's a level 29 quest I could do over here. But again, I'll wait until I'm actually a Gridanian, uh Work on... Uh, wait until I work on a Gridanian, uh class that you unlock in Gridania before I do that. I can't think properly. I need help. Okay. It's gonna, still going to take a while for me to do that. Are there anything else? I mean, I could still do that just to start it, I guess. So I can get all of the different uh, housing areas out of the way. Regaria! Where the heart is, the lavender beds. Regaria has information that may interest wealthy adventurers. Color, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but are you an, not an adventurer? I've seen you running to and fro, face set in grim determination as adventurers are wont to do. Hence my presumption. If so, I have information which might interest you. Rumor has it that plots within the lavender beds are to be auctioned off. What's more, bidders need not even be Gridanian. Any old adventurer or wandering minstrel could, with sufficient funds, purchase land and build their own home. Considering how discerning the elementals tend to be about who uh, who can and cannot res tend to be about who can and cannot reside within the Twelveswood, it's rather surprising, if not hard to believe. But if there's truth to those rumors, well, who hasn't dreamed of owning their own forest cottage, perhaps with a small vegetable garden and a stable large enough to for a chocobo or two? You know, should your travels take you to the mirror planks where the ferry to the lavender beds is, perhaps you'll find a twin adder representative who can tell you more. Would I would be shocked if they weren't involved in such a monumental change in policy. Well, that person is over here. Let me in the meantime I'll make my way back over, see if I can actually uh see if it actually the fate actually spawns in while I'm doing this. Maybe it's particular kinds of mounts that will actually not descend automatically. I wonder if that's the case. Oh, I see something. Looks like it's about to start. <sighs> we have no we have to catch those bunnies, lest this use hatching tide event it oh, didn't even have time to read it. What do I do here? Uh, wait through a flock of furious hens to capture the flowing mischief makers and ensure the facilities proceed as planned. So, what do I do here? Oh, wait, I have to join it first. That'd be a good idea. Fate join. Oh, I have an actual I thing I can do. I can't tell if I'm actually capturing any or not. Okay, I think I am. I just have to catch chickens, right? No, or do I have to catch rabbits? Oh, I think I have to catch the rabbits. That's what it is. I think the chickens just stop them from moving. I think that's how it works. Hee! Hey, come back here. Ah! I'm not catching anything. Come on. Oh, there we go. I got that one, I think. Nope, missed that one. I keep missing him. Aha! There we go. Stop them. Gotcha. No. Let's see. Where's another good one? Ah. Oh, it's close. Aha! Walked right into that one. Come on, you. Okay, let's stay around here. See what... Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Aha! Let's 
see any more show up here. Aha, there's one. Yeah, gotcha. How about any of these? Did these? Well, I think I got one by accident. <laughs> oh, missed it. There we go. And now, any over here? Oh, there's one. Yeah. What next? Oh, there's two here. Oh, three here. Oh, we got them all. And gotcha. Yeah, squeak, squeak all you want, buddies. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, there's somebody oh, right next to me. Nice. Any more? We're so close. We're near the end. Got it. No longer participating. I got a fortune egg. A plain white Archon egg believed to bring its bearer good luck. Hmm. Okay, now I go back and speak to... Chili. Okay. Let's head back to New Gridania. I didn't even realize if I was able to talk to that person before or not. Oh, well. Back to... Mikado Amphitheater, that's what it was. I almost forgot. I thought for some reason I had to go back to the uh, growery, but no, I come back here. Now let's see what it is about these eggs. I wonder what that's supposed to do for me. Or if the eggs have anything to do with this. Oh, Dexter. Say no more. I've heard everything. My sincere apologies for all the trouble we had put you through. But let us, but su uh, let it suffice to say, your efforts have all uh, have all but saved this year's hatching tide from disaster. That's good. Some stragglers are still running about, but we've captured the better part of both flocks. Nonoda, Master Pollen, and my colleagues should be able to round up the rest in due time. But there's even more good news. It seems the exercise went a long way to soothe our savage chickens, and we've retrieved eggs in abundance to decorate. Oh boy, chicken head. Oh, it looks like the two got no, are getting along now. Ah, Nonota, Master Pollen, allow me to thank you for your efforts as uh, your efforts as well. I was just sharing the happy tidings with Dexter here. Wait, is this perchance one of the happy bunnies that we were the, that were the source of the whole hullabaloo? Why, they're truly the spitting image of the little critters that came to me in my vision. Seeing how calm and well behaved it is now. I can scarcely believe it gave such trouble. Your other chickens are resting easy now, I gather. No worries here. Uh, no worries there, Geely, my dear. My birds have spent all their nervous ener uh, spent uh, spent up all of their nervous energy and are relaxed now as ever. Uh, now as ever, I've seen them. Why, after the little spat, it seems that they have become to a mutual understanding with their fluffy new friends. Yay, that's good news, I guess. <laughs> I'm happy to say that the rabbits, too, are now obeying our attendants with scarcely a peep or argument. And wouldn't you know it, just before one of them handed us, uh, handed us this crystal. A crystal? Could it be? Why, they're truly the harbingers of happiness and good fortune. Why? What did you get? I have good feelings about this, Dexter. Do come back later so I can fill you in on the details, yes? Needless to say, I'll also have a special something for you as a token of thanks for your services. As for now, I must prepare for the festivities. In the meantime, could I trouble you to lead these two fellows through the streets and join them in handing out eggs to the townspeople? If my dreams are any guide, I'm sure it will bring you no end of smiles to one and all. Alrighty then, I will do this. Well, aren't we all so eager? That's what I like to see. And with all that, it's it best be putting the final decorative touches on these eggs. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. Alright. I'm assuming I could do so immediately after this. All right, I'm right next to Nona to have to talk to next. 
Ready to start handing out some eggs? Lovely. In that case, here you go. Pray take our pray take our little friends along and spread happiness the whole city over. Oh, they're behind us all these other players. <laughs> Where will you hand out eggs? Ooh, is this one that I have that I am able to redo? By the markets, by the botanist guild, or by Nafika's altar? Let's do Nafika's altar. You're welcome, guys. Hmm? What's up with these guys? You seeing this, too? I guess they are. Now, who are these people? Greetings, Dexter. It is always a pleasure to have you here in Gridania. And twould seem you've befriended some rather charming little helpers. Why, what a lovely egg. How very kind of you. And there's the most toothsome uh, looking little cake inside. Do stop by the canopy when you're finished here. I have a brew that I will accompany it perfectly. I should enjoy that. I, in I should enjoy that indeed. Dexter, on behalf of all of Gridania, allow me to thank you and your little colleagues for making this year's Hatching Tide so memorable. Once your work is con uh, concluded, I hope you'll have time to relax and take in the cheer of the season. You and your friends are welcome to stop by for a cup of tea as well, should the mood strike you. Though I dare say you ought to claim a table sooner rather than later. These sweets will draw adventurers by the droves. And I have no idea who those people were. We have to go give off more eggs? I guess not. It's just that one place? Hmm. If this is repeatable, then I guess it means I'd be able to see where, the, where these other places would take me. But I'm not sure if I will. Welcome back, Dexter. How did you and your little friends fare? Well, we did pretty good, I guess. Splendid to hear! At first, I feared that my dreams might bring only chaos and confusion to the realm this year. But thanks to you, I do believe we can declare this year's egg hunt a rousing success. Oh, but how could I forget? In recognition of your tireless efforts on, your on our behalf, my fellow dreamers and I have prepared a little, a very special hatching tide present just for you. And what would that be? Um, what did you do? Oh! Did I mention how I procured mammoths from the Goldsmiths Guild for the festivities? This is one of them. Sadly, it was completely lifeless from the moment of arrival. It seemed his core had, some loose, uh, had come loose and fallen out on the way here. But would you believe it? I slipped on that crystal the little bunny gave me, and in an instant, its tail puffed up and it worked back to life. Oh, so you had a mammoth crystal. That's what that was. Okay, now what? <laughs> I'm quite confident it will bring its caretaker nothing but good fortune and smiles galore. And I would very much like that person to be you, Dexter. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Now that all the hard work is done, I do hope you'll have the chance to relax and enjoy the festivities for yourself. They've only just begun, after all. And should you find yourself in the mood to help us hand out some more eggs, simply say the word. Thus ends the tale of Dexter Cavell, who once again spread joy throughout the realm. Ooh. Yay! Complete! Seasonal event quest complete. Should you wish to replay the gift-given task from the quest Hippity Hoppity Happily, speak with Nododa again. 
if fortune smiles upon you, may, you may even find yourself encountering individuals who were not present in your initial adventure. Furthermore, you have unlocked the Egg Hunt, uh, the Egg Hunter Riggy mini game. Open the toy chest in any in room to try your hand at this seasonal pastime. Huh. All right. Well, first let me go see where did Nanata go. Were you back over by the botanist skilled? Was that it? Is that where you were? I hope that's where you were. Well, there's Pollen. I don't see Nanota here. Oh, what? Oh, you're right here. I missed you. Hi. I meant to come back to you again. What's that? Back to help us hand out some more eggs? You're too. You're a far too kind, friend. Needless to say, we would more than welcome your aid. Here, I have a freshly decorated batch ready to go at any time. You can replay the gift giving task you from the quest. A fortune smiles upon you. Maybe you can counter vigils. You're not pressed. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Hand out eggs. Let's go see what else we can who else we can talk to. Let's go to the markets next. You're welcome. Have an exquisite day. And who would I run into this time? Oh. Hello again, Sumi. A decorated egg for me? How thoughtful. Yeah, I'm handing them out to everyone. Even you. There's even a little treat inside. Thank you ever so much. And lastly... Your efforts are sincerely appreciated. Oh, it's Isumi. That's what I was thinking of. Sorry. These seasonal celebrations bring so much joy to the children. And myself, I confess. Still, I must say, it's been years ever since uh, since I've seen a traveler rabbit in the flesh. I never would have expected to encounter one here. You wouldn't? Despite your the fact that you're a seer? Right? You are a seer, right? What's that? That nomenclature is unfamiliar to you. Ah, in the north they are no more colloquially as happy bunnies, are they not? They're said to usher in smiles and good fortune. Before that, yes, since much older times, they were known as Traveler Rabbits. They have uh, they have a habit of showing up at your side unannounced, then vanishing off somewhere before you know it. I recall seeing one in the Tollswood when I was but a child. Is it the same one? <laughs> Probably not. Ah, but forgive me. You have other places you must be. We can talk another time. Pray, relax, and enjoy the festivities when your work is done. That I shall. Thank you, Isumi. Alright, guys, let's go collect, uh, set, uh, deposit, deliver more eggs. That's what I was thinking of. What is next? Yes, I am back. Head up more eggs. Let's see what the third option gets me. Who do I encounter over at the Botanist's Guild? Here you go, mister. <laughs> and who is it this time? What? What? What weapon do you have there? Why, I dare say the wood used to fashion these decorations was um, uh, those decorations was among the finest I've ever laid eyes on. As always, your eye for quality timber is simply unparalleled. Is this who I think it is? <laughs> you're w you're far too kind, Master B. I mean, my forest-loving, floppy-eared friend. I thought so. 
Likewise, I have no doubt the wood rejoiced to find itself in the hands of one who understands it as well as you. Or should I say, pause. <laughs> okay, so you are who I think you are, but you have a different kind of saw than you normally do. That saw looks neat. I want one. Oh, if it isn't Dexter. How good it is to see you well. An egg for me? But a charming little fellow carrying it. I accept your gift with gratitude. How very clever you are. Though I did hear a rumor of some concern. Yes, a little bird told me that creatures bearing no small resemblance to you were running wild through the streets of Gradania, trampling our precious greenery. Uh-oh. And nibbling at the bark of our precious trees. A most disconcerting story if there is any truth to it. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you guys better run. So I don't think they're happy. If my intuition is not mistaken, it appears the little creature is apologizing to us in its own way. Okay, so they're not running away. Good. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, I do believe we can forgive and forget. Thank you for the thoughtful gift and the happiest of hatching ties to you. I feel so bad. I, I recognize who those characters are supposed to be, but I know I know Beaten, but I don't remember the name of the botanist guild person. I feel so stupid for not remembering who it is. But I guess that's... Is that really it for this event? There's nothing else to do? Hmm. Alright. Well, first of all, I better actually unlock that new hatching bunny that I found. Use that. I now have the hatching bunny. Now let's actually uh, summon them for now, because I can. Where are you, hatching bunny? You are here, right? Oh, there you are. Hatching bunny. Let's summon you for a bit. There you are. Hey! <laughs> okay, also, I just realized I haven't... Whoop, hold up. Inventory. I also haven't used up this identification key. I'm gonna use that. I can now summon the Magitek Armor as a mount. Awesome. So what do we do with these fortune eggs? The plain white Archon egg believed to bring his bear good luck for as long as it remains uncracked. Is that something I use for um, trading? Who do I talk to for trade? Pollen, maybe? It may look effortless to the untrained eye, but I'll have you know that laying eggs places no small amount of stress on these birds. That's why I'm thrilled to see not a single one go to waste. The yolks baked into toothsome treats, the shells painted into delightful ornaments. My little, dar my little darlings can truly be proud. I guess I don't talk to you. Hmm. Who do I talk to about this, then? About all these eggs. Do I talk to you again, maybe? Might you be interested in learning about the... Ch no, I already read about this. So I don't talk to you. Do I talk to someone up here, maybe? I don't see an icon for a traitor, though. So apparently it's not... Oh, wait. Dreamer Ed... Uh, Ed? Yeah. Dreamer Egg Advocate? Is that who I talked to? Aha! Interesting. I can use some magic prisms. Yeah, let's actually get these. Get the Egg a Day, which only costs uh, nine points. Let's exchange those for this. Now I can unlock that. And then Hatching Tide Magic Prism. Uh, trade one for that. There we go. Now let's use these to see what they... Oh, hold on. Use these to see what they look like. We have ballroom etiquette. Egg a day. You can now use the emote eat egg. <laughs> I can just eat an egg. And then the magic prism. Let's see what this looks like. I haven't done that. I haven't done so for all these other ones. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Neat. I might actually do this more on my own time, just so I can collect a bunch more of those if I want to. Unless I can't. Oh, wait, it was part of the fate. I wonder if I, if I just participate in the fate a bunch, I can do that. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, it's already... Oh, wow, this is this has actually gone a lot further than I thought it would. Um, it's actually 30 minutes past my the usual time I spend for, uh, for streaming. So I'm actually going to end that for tonight. Um, uh, thank you for joining me. 
however weird this uh, this particular stream was because of the accidental ex the ah, I can't even talk right now the uh, problems at the beginning. But uh, next time I will do what I can to uh, complete more of the warrior quest as well as unlock more stuff. What exactly I'm going to unlock next, I don't know, but I'm going to unlock stuff. So, until then, until next this next coming Sunday instead of Monday, I will see you then. Until then, have a good night.